Who is that again? Wiz Khalifa. Oh, I forget Jesus every Christ. week. I'm the worst black friend to you, or I got to get rid of you. I don't know. I know I hail cabs for you, and then the cabs also pass me by. That <laughs> yes, because you two, <laughs> you think you're white, but you're not. Not in their eyes. Well, David Feldman's pretty white. Yes. Or, yes, David Feldman. Welcome to the show, man. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. Have you met, you never met him before, I think right? we did we, meet we, before, we, yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. So I know Dave from uh, Gong Show way back when, when Attell had Gong Show again. Oh, yeah, that's right. And also from the Sheen Roast. Which is the last place I got to hang out with Patrice at the Charlie Sheen Rose. And after you poisoned Patrice's drink and killed him. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> white devil. <laughs> you devilish white man. <laughs> and uh, Felder was one of the writers. And also, but you know, Orny Adams was like a guest writer, too, when oh, I was, was there. Oh, was he? I didn't see Orny you know, in a minute. I was like... You were there for the whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. So there's like a tight group. Then they'll bring in a guy for like a week or something. That's what I was there for, right? Okay. And uh, also Orny Adams. And Orny, I forgot everybody's like a germaphobe, you know, pussy in L.A. Yes. Hey, what's up, man? Mark's here, too. Mark, Mark Lamont Hill is Mark in the Lamont Hill, welcome. What's up, yes. man? Y'all introduce yourself to each other. This is David Feldman. Hey, hey David. This How is the doing? Jew, David Feldman. Oh. <laughs> he, he asked to be introduced like that. Right. Yeah. I was good with Feldman. I figured it out. <laughs> you have the rent? Or do, should we do it later? Is that, I need the rent. Oh. Because <laughs> this, like, right, this is going to be the last time I'm asking nicely. <laughs> what was it? We He's a Jew with a black belt. He's ready to... <laughs> He's moving in. So I, I started getting a sore throat in the room. I was getting a little bit sick, right? Okay. And, um, and the, head, the uh, head writer, your buddy... Ray James. Ray James, the head writer, had just had a baby, and uh, so he didn't want germs or something, right? Mm -hmm. So fucking Orny Adams, I sneezed one time. Orny Adams jumped six feet sideways because I sneezed, and then uh, he sent me home. Ray goes, I'm going to have to send you home, and I thought he meant back to New York. Oh, uh, you thought he was he fired? Meant, <laughs> I knew he just meant for the day. I thought I was fired because of Orny. Can, Why is he such a pussy can, about a cold down there? That's a, they can all plug in right there. What just happened? I'm, a, I'm trying I'm, to strain I only up. had the white half of the room for that story. I'm a chronic <laughs> hand, hand washer. I, I like... Even after I go to the bathroom, I have to wash my hands. I'm just always you washing always wash my hands. <laughs> yeah. Lamont, stop staring at scattered ass outside the window. I see you, Lamont. It is a lot. Look familiar. Case Slay is next door, and he's always got you know fat booties coming in and out. And Apparently, it can, it's distracting. Yeah, that oh. shit ain't fair. Man. That's ghetto approved booty right there. You should try to <laughs> have our booty his show one time. Now I'll that we're here, yeah, I'm trying. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I definitely you know have what you a booty mean. parade a versus booty his. We gotta have girls put it against the glass though. Yeah, we do. <laughs> hey, I didn't realize, Mark, you're from the video, the old video from the when I miss the nappy-headed hoe gate. Oh. When uh, he was on with Patrice on Sean Hannity. Oh, oh shit. Do you know that video with no, you about I miss? Oh, I man. forgot, and I was like, why do I know Mark Lamont Hill? And he sound familiar, but that, how long ago was that? Uh, you you shit. play women's basketball? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, don't call him a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me and Patrice didn't get along that day. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, what's yeah. that clip? Well, because Patrice supports hate speech. He told me. Yes. <laughs> His exact words right. were, I support hate speech. <laughs> so do I. Um, well, because I want to, because we have also Aaron Gloria Ryan from Jezebel coming back on. Yes, Aaron's but here. We can't talk about. She can't be part of the uh, Hulk Hogan thing. Because I want to get But that's Hulk the whole Hogan. point. Ain't Jezebel and Gawker the whole. Under the same umbrella That's nonsense? Right. So she's not allowed to talk about it. So she can't mention it. Right. But so I want to get the ceremony out of the way quick today because we have to jump right into Hulk Hogan. Okay. And his uh, tape. Do you guys understand the ceremony of this show? Nah. Which you don't have to participate in. Here's the thing. We we think it's foolish to say the word, like the N word, instead of saying nigger. We just say all words. Fag, nig, kite. To describe it. Am I missing To describe any? it. Like <laughs> how context? Obama said it. Oh, okay. You, nah, see, you, know, con, but you, know. you know how Obama now, they're like, that's Hulk Hogan's defense. It's like, well, Obama said it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so our thing is, we don't subscribe to the magic word theory that some people have. Right. Like, like if you're going to say you're going to say it, I wouldn't say it to someone to hurt them. But right. if I'm talking about it, it's right. ridiculous. Right. So we have a small ceremony just yes. to make it get the audience. And I give him the power to say this word. For for the for the duration of the show, yes. Well, the power it's wears off. It's not really nilly, no. But to discuss it normally, and this is just less stupid than saying the N word. We so I like, like that. I don't yeah. like white people having to say the N word. Yeah, well, yeah. come on. We sure do a I'd. ceremony, but our ceremony is less stupid than saying the N word. Now yeah. get ready for it. All right, Let's come hit on the music, over here. Paul. Wait, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. You gotta get in position, dude. Oh, don't worry, I can reach you from here. No, I'm coming. <laughs> get over here. It's I'll not the fucking. In... <laughs> By the way, I can't believe I asked for that part like he was forgetting. Get not it on. Yet, not yet, not yet. Oh, shit. It's on there, dude. What 
Wow. That was so warm okay. that time. Wow. <laughs> it wasn't just that was the power bike of, dick. of saying... I just got off the bike. Yeah. Yeah, that's warm bike dick. I know. Oh, my that God. That was a hell of a ceremony. Thank you. Yeah. Well, we do it every time. Every just time. to say nigger if to talk about it. Yes. And the reason... Don't jump. Look how he jumped when you said it just now. Because this is why I brought <laughs> His Thug whiteness can not even be used. Hold on. Me landlord uncomfortable with this. <laughs> Listen. I'll, wait, not but, in Sherrod. front of the black people. <laughs> <laughs> he can hear you. Sherrod, we're getting to that part. <laughs> right. Because Feldo, during... While we were writing, we were talking, right? Remember this? We were having a conversation. <laughs> and Feldman says he will never, ever say the word nigger ever again. Why would you say it in the first place, you son of a bitch? <laughs> I don't know, I know. My, my, my dick on your shoulder. Which I, was weird, because the previous week he had been saying it every day. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're just oh, talking. Like, but you said you won't we, say that word at all. You said you won't say it at all. I won't say it ever again. I made right. a promise to myself. When did you say it the last time, and why did it, how did it go so bad that you won't say it again? <laughs> how, how did you... <laughs> There's a bunch of niggers on his sixth train. How, how did you become Carl Winslow in Die Hard where you'll never pick up nigger again? He killed a kid with it at a convenience store. <laughs> <laughs> what helped you come to that feeling? Yeah, what, what? I just felt that it was... It had to be put to rest, that word. When were you using it before, though? Were you using it in, like, angry situations? No, 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 no. Oh, like, jokingly? Yeah, occasionally. Yeah. You would throw it off on Triumph, make Triumph the insult comic <laughs> dog say it. It's like the dog lives his life. I don't Even know. Triumph I, doesn't say that one. It, it, and I have kids. And uh, and they say it now, so you just look foolish saying it. Right? Well, you look my, lame. My look at dad trying to be down. My son is black. All his friends are black. And your they son, were, Deshaun, and your daughter, Deshaun Unique. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't look in their sweet faces again if you had said that. I understand. Their sweet, chocolatey faces. <laughs> and they were in the car and they were all saying the n-word and i oh. said you know they were saying nigger yes <laughs> and i said i'm gonna tell you this once and i'm not gonna repeat it never say the n-word in front of a black person <laughs> <laughs> You're all, you're, that's wise words. <laughs> you, wait, you wait till they get out of the car, and then it's okay, but never. What's ever. that nigga's problem? <laughs> Last time I picked up that nigga. <laughs> Holy crap. No, no, but he has all these white. Uh, my son has all these black friends, African American friends. And uh, they it, use that word. It's generational, like, though. They don't, don't look at it like the, like we look at it. I don't approve. Okay. Of them having black friends. I don't <laughs> <laughs> Why would you? That shit leads to trouble. <laughs> <laughs> it leads to a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, generate these kids say nigger and they don't they don't even see color well, in the they way they do say it. Well, they say nig uh and th there is like a difference. Yes. Yeah. Not the like ER. how I say it where I really lay on the ER. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, nigger. <laughs> usually follow get off my lawn. <laughs> but the the uh <laughs> oh, oh, the thing with Obama, right? All he said on marriage show was racism is more than people just saying nigger was right. that the quote. Yeah. So the ridiculousness of making it a magic word like that is is that's like the rules. It's unfortunately that I think somebody left to set that rule that it's a magic word and then now righties get to use it as like a cudgel for no reason. You know what I mean? Like I don't think they even give a shit. I think it's like a what I, give a shit. what I do with my girlfriend where I get mad about stuff that I'm not really mad about just in case she's mad at me later. <laughs> <laughs> just so you can store one? Yeah. So you yeah. don't think they really, they don't give a shit? Fuck. No. I mean, here's the thing, though. I mean, like, presidents don't usually say nigger. I mean, like, there's no record of presidents saying nigger. So they, yeah, I'm sure they have. Bro. Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> have you, hold on. Have I you on TV? I'm sure every one of them has. Oh, they all say, I mean, on oh, TV. Everyone. Yeah, yeah. I think Without that was uh, Thomas Jefferson's nickname for Sally <laughs> Hemings. <laughs> Dude, that was Patrice. Listen, Patrice made me laugh so hard. When uh, he'd be on the phone with Vaughn, like we'd be on the way back yeah. from the show, he'd go, all right, nigger, listen, nigger. <laughs> to his girlfriend. Yes. And then also. Oh, I said it to Marissa all the time she's jewish yeah and, I, and, uh, Will, and will's use what's he eat nigga uh, i'll make something uh. but, uh, <laughs> will sylvans the thing i told you when you went i told i said it before in the show but when him and jay were in england right and uh and will because will would say it just to me and like any guy right so they're in a club and he goes man these bitches look like niggas 
<laughs> Will said that? Yeah. <laughs> it's like the best sentence I ever heard. It's got something for everyone to be upset about. This Jeez. show is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Huh? This ain't no goddamn whatever. Uh, whatever. Right, but so anyway, the reason I get to the ceremony quick is to get into Hulk Hogan. Let's get into it. Because you texted me excitedly. I was First of all, I was <laughs> the just... The morning of Hogan. I was like, how is the WWE uh, the wrestling who introduced us to Iron Sheik and Virgil, who was a houseboy, and then Godfather, <laughs> who was a black pimp, and then Yakuzuna, who <laughs> was a black... Yakuzuna? He was the... And they doing a... Don't fire Hulk Papa Hogan. Shongo, who yes. literally had a bone in his nose. And they fired Hulk Hogan <laughs> over being racially insensitive. It's no, like, they that's the whole him. thing. They scrubbed him off the fuck Out the history. Which I hate that. I think nobody should lose any of their awards for any of their side shit. Because that way you don't get... Now they still to, to have that hero worship bullshit. Like Cosby, keep his star. Yes, right? keep his star in Hollywood so, so people, people know that you're not yeah, a perfect person. When like you, you could be famous. a rapist and also funny. <laughs> yes. That, that, that's a lesson to remember. What do you think, Mark? Do you think... You, can't, you gotta take a star, man. He raped like 20 other stars on the wall. It's a right? bunch of rapists <laughs> over there. <laughs> hey, Danny. <laughs> it's hey, a Danny. bunch of rapists yeah, like over everybody there. Everybody on that block, though. Like, you, you gotta we cut that off. All right, what if they gave him a new star just for that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I say don't take it down because that's a way of like cleansing you wanna Hollywood. It's, it's not like they cleansing. Yeah. It's just making Hollywood look better. Like, well, we don't have this rapist in here. Like, it's like, no, no you, you, you do. enable this. Yes. That's, keep your kids in your fucking It happened home. because you're Hollywood and you protect these motherfuckers to try to act like they're perfect and they ain't. So it's like, let us know the truth. Keep this ho his star out there. We still like the Cosby Show. There gotta be a limit, though. I mean, if you call me a nigga, fine. You can keep your star, right? You do some drugs, keep your star. You rape three people, you keep your star. Isn't that like, like a max? You don't, you don't <laughs> get <laughs> it. Like, it's not. You don't get a star. You're not, not raping. You don't yeah, get a star for not, a not raping. It's not a star of not rape. It's a star. <laughs> it's like okay, everybody here. You promise you didn't rape before, right? <laughs> get your star. No, everybody. I'm, look, I'm for hurting Cosby, but I think it's better to have his shit up. So every time someone sees so it, they know. go, "That guy's a rapist." So don't get caught up in the father. Like we don't have to. Pull our pants up after all, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like that's why it's a good lesson. I think more than three rapes, you should lose your star. <laughs> okay, I go, I go okay. ten. Ten. You get I, ten rapes. You, make yeah. a, you get nine. Uh, you get nine on these votes for making a Cosby show. Yeah. Okay, but ten. All right, well, because I believe in God quotas, by the way. So. <laughs> but that was a different time. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> the 70s was a different time. You can't put your rape laws now <laughs> on 70s rape. What was happening in the 70s that I met? You were there. What was happening in the 70s? Was everybody just raping everybody? We were all taking quaaludes. That's why... How many times did you get raped while you were taking quaaludes? I don't know. I was passed out. <laughs> and I... <laughs> Actually, most people managed not to get raped in the 70s. No, but Quaaludes, when you're on drugs, come on. Who didn't Dude, have Quaaludes. just sex with drugs involved and you don't remember most of the sex? Dude, I took a Should Xanax. Should we go to commercial? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I took a Xanax and like a muscle relaxer the other night and I had no memories. You could have easily have raped me, dude. Yes, and I did. <laughs> <laughs> that blood ain't making sense. Is itself. that what that dream was? <laughs> <laughs> that strange dream. <laughs> So Hulk Hogan, I is he done? A solid block of chocolate was pressing down on top of me. And I was like, ooh, chocolate. But then I was like, why? Why is chocolate hurting me? That's a veiny Snickers bar. Yeah. And then the next thing I knew, I woke up. And uh, <laughs> Anyway, it could happen to anybody. But Hulk Hogan's not done. I don't think he's finished. Dude. Done what? He wasn't doing shit before he got... But he was still in the Hall of Fame. Okay, Hulk Fans Hogan, don't like him. Here's, here's the ironic thing of this, right? This, as I understand it. Because the only reason this came out is because he's suing gawker for releasing his sex tape okay and the reason that came out it's not a recording it's the it's from the deposition that got leaked it wasn't supposed to be leaked but that's what got leaked and got him in trouble so if he hadn't sued them we wouldn't have got to hear on the other hand you're not supposed to leak that so i don't know if that's also so wait Hol gawker. so hogan was suing gawker for that sex tape. For the sex tape they put out. Yeah. yeah. Do we have somebody here from Gawker who can really talk no, about this? No, we don't. But I'm sure I'm looking at somebody over there on the couch. No, who... she can't even be here until we're done with that. <laughs> so legally she can't Legal, talk about I, it? I said, listen, I go, you can have a safe word, Aaron. <laughs> okay? If you, we can't talk about anything, just say nigger as loud as you can. <laughs> <laughs> nigger is a safe word. <laughs> it's, it's America's safe word. <laughs> so, okay, so that's why the... <laughs> <laughs> good God Almighty! That's a good title, America's Safe Word. <laughs> that's, that's a good title. Write that down. So whoever, so he sued them, and that's why the information came out. Yeah, ultimately. And that sex tape was what two minutes long? 
Yeah, it was Bubba the Love Sponge's wife supposedly was obsessed with wanting to fuck Hulk Hogan since she was little. Right. And so... <laughs> so that was her in the tape? <laughs> so fucking weird. Yeah. And then, uh... He I mean, what is it, she, right? Brooke Hogan? What? <laughs> so that was some another wrestler's wife in the tape with him. No, Bubba the Love Sponge is not a wrestler. A, what, a, what name is that's that? That's a great guess. I mean, DJ, what is he, a comic? That, is he's he, a radio DJ. Does he open for, open for Cool Bubba Ice? He's a Florida radio, <laughs> no, he's a Florida radio DJ. That's the worst name. He should be kicked down a flight of Florida stairs. <laughs> I just don't like the name. <laughs> he should have his face bitten off in a bath salt frenzy for that name. <laughs> his short name for show business um, was Bubba the Love Spongestein. He's <laughs> 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 too Jewish. So, <laughs> so, uh, so he helped her tape Hogan because she was going to watch this. And like flicker bean later, I swear to God, this is what I, what I read. It was for her own personal use to whack off to, okay. and somehow it got leaked. And that's then, never the case. Oh, I don't. Whenever know. you say I'm making a sex tape for personal use, well, there, get ready there, for everybody to see. You it. can hear Bubba the Love Sponge on this recording, supposedly saying, "If we ever want to retire, we have this whole Hogan sex tape." And just to put this out there to everyone thinking about this, the sex tape's only valuable if you're like a hot chick. Like nobody gives a fuck if the celebrity's the a man. No, <laughs> no one gives a fuck. Like no. you're not going to make a million dollars with that. What is it? You blackmail him with it. I don't even think you made with blackmail. Blackmail money ain't You're the dumb. same as it used to be. Dude, yeah, it's if not. If you have a small penis. Okay. You lost no. me already, but or, I'll listen. Or, or, yeah. you, or the tape only lasts 30 seconds. You pay a million dollars to keep this shit from coming out. Right? 30 seconds? I'd be proud of that. A 30 second like, splash? Ma'am, come on. It's very convenient for you. <laughs> Did he smash? Look at it. I'll prove it. In and out 30 seconds. You don't even know I'm in there. <laughs> yeah, I can't even see being ashamed of that. Uh, no, blackmail would be like if you don't want someone to know you're gay, which is what happened that, to uh, the first. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? Tim Geithner's brother. Geithner's brother. Also, golfing. what do you think about that, Mark? <laughs> that, that he outed Geithner's brother for no reason. I think outing people in general is fucked up. It's sad. It's like, what are you doing? Like, it's still shameful. If you're saying there's nothing wrong with being gay, and then you're outing motherfuckers, right. it's like, no, you really think it is something wrong with being gay. Do, Graham, though, I they mean, want to be they want to be a fake gossip site like a TMZ, but without the tone of TMZ, they want to be like we're we're also moral. And serious, and that's why it that's sucks. A, weird bedfellows. You can't mix that shit and then fall back. Well, we're just a gossip site. Like, don't act like you're a liberal crusader, and all you're doing is just fucking up people. By the way, <laughs> I didn't really need to, like the Hulk Hogan's thing to me. All right, how did you? Where's Nick? How, <laughs> <laughs> It's weird that I just pointed. I don't know if anybody can see, but if I just pointed at Nick and he just looked up and he so much looks like a fucking. Uh, I don't want to say child molester, but. <laughs> I, I wouldn't like, leave a kid around him, is what I'm saying. It's like, why are you here when you just see him? He's like, hey, what's up? What, how did you describe Hulk Hogan when we were doing Stress Factory? We get, on about Hulk Hogan, get on the mic. Come, come in, Nick. Okay. Come by Uncle Feldman. <laughs> <laughs> I have some candy that Jared from Subway gave me. Well, you, you said something. You said something about it was Hulk Hogan was like a guy of that education level, something, something. Do you remember that? Well, I, I mean, I think he's like, you know, he's just an older dude that's uneducated that doesn't know how to like address racial issues. I agree. Think. So some like people are so. I wouldn't say well versed, but I mean because academic language is kind of just filtered through media. Like everyone knows how to talk about things as if they're already offended or they're being sensitive, and he doesn't know how to do that because he's from Tampa. Nick's right. I saw him on the episode. He was on an episode of Hogan Knows Best. He has some <laughs> Jewish friends over his house. He had a barbecue. Yeah. He's like, okay, y'all want kosher burgers? <laughs> okay, got. It. He put the same grill. He was like, these are the kosher burgers, and these are non-kosher. I'm flipping them with the same spatula. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, you really don't know how He's things work. Christ, you it's know? like, uh, it's like if, dumb. if the Gran Torino guy was uh, on steroids instead of going to Korea. And that's, <laughs> that's what you get. That's him. what you get. <laughs> Isn't it amazing that, kosher, that he fucked up those kosher burgers and then got upset about his daughter getting non-koshered yes. with the wrong spatula? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'll tell you what. Here's my thing, dude. Other than him saying "nigger" in his home, which is where you should say it in your home. Yeah. Uh, wh like everybody has their tribal. Everybody has their tribal horseshit the comfort, of who the they want their home. daughter. I mean, everybody does who they want their daughter to marry. Like my girl's Israeli. Her parents wanted her with a Jew. Yeah. To, uh, listen, they still I, crying. You can claim, like, people can claim there's a difference, but uh, there's no difference between them in nice language saying "don't be with a non-Jew" and him saying yeah. she switched sides and she fucks niggers. There's no difference. There's no it. difference. It's just a polite way of saying the so, same thing. So I, if, if everybody's going to get to keep their little tribal things around their family pussy, like, I'm 
not begrudging him that. I agree. And also, why the fuck is it being, you know, it's none of my goddamn business what he said in his house. What the problem is, and this is where Patrice was really right, and we said it about Kramer. Yeah. This is what I told you when we were talking about on the phone. Patrice, like, it, like he told me, like, he was a, like, a lot of black people loved Kramer. They yeah. thought he was pretty great. Yeah. And he's like a wacky uncle. And then for him to come out screaming <laughs> nigger is like, he let molested. us down. It's like, it's like you thought he was this guy. Right. And you're like, oh, he feels so Hulk Hogan is it's more quite possibly a hero to black kids of he was. Like your he age, was right? Yes. Yes. So that's the fucked up thing is that you've got that image of we him. We got as, bamboozled. Yeah. We got let us We got hornswoggled. We got fucking run amok. <laughs> That, you know, that's the upsetting thing. That's, that's why I have the show, this. so that you can never... If you go to the record, there was always a problem with me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> even if tapes come out, let's say. Oh, I've got some tapes on you, actually, Kurt. No, you don't. No, I really do. After this whole Hulk Hogan thing surfaced, I said, yeah. hey, why not? Why should I get in the mix? I got so many uh, audio tapes of you losing your fucking shit racially. Really? I said, why not uh, throw some out there? We got them. I'd be, I'd be surprised if you had it. Don't even. be surprised. So we got some. Paul, do you have the tape that I have? Let's play the first one. It's disturbing. It's very I disturbing it's stuff. Anything. So, disturbing. you know that guy my mom is seeing? Yeah. It turns out he's a fucking chog lips. <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. I don't remember you saying. You know what I mean? Disturbing. Mm -hmm. Can they yeah. June bat? Mm-hmm. Yeah. My mother. Mm. Switches sides on me after <laughs> I pay for her music career with her recording studio. Okay? I'm out 10 grand. And then I got to find out uh, she's out there with some fucking boon swaggler. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Yeah. I mean, I'm not racist, you know? I guess. I mean, I'm as racist as, like, anybody is, I guess. Mm -hmm. But, uh, doesn't mean I want some spice hair all up in my mom, you know? <laughs> Knocking her up with some little elbow walkers. Mm -hmm. you, do you get what I'm saying? Disturbing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is that? No, no. Are you recording? <laughs> <laughs> now, can you explain that to me, Kurt? I don't know, dude. Kurt, can you all, explain that? I don't know that that's my voice. <laughs> oh, it's so I good voice. Know. That's it's... all you got is that? No, I got several. I got several audio tapes of you just wilding out. I thought everybody needed to hear it. I think that one's enough to get me on anything, to be honest. Oh, really? Do you want me to play the next one? No, because I'm going to get it. I have my Emmy thing coming up. I'd fuck the Don't Emmy. Fuck that's that right. We talk about stars on Hollywood. This son of a bitch is nominated for an Emmy, and he's talking this nonsense. All yeah, right. Emmy. Aaron King really, King. too, but they're not giving him credit for the other one. Yeah. Because the white man's the devil. Give, yeah. give me that. They had to give it to an affirmative action thing, I was told. Yeah, affirmative <laughs> action. All right. Well, this, might, this, this might fuck up your Emmy chances, but I don't give a fuck. Right. Play let's it, see. Paul. Play it. Listen, I'll tell you why black people love Bennigan's, okay? <laughs> it's not a secret. They have an extra bone in their stomach that lets them digest Bennigan's, okay? All right. I mean, you're not supposed to say that. I don't want to be Jimmy the Greek out of my job. <laughs> but we all know that's what it is. They have a fast twitch stomach bone that lets them digest <laughs> Bennigan's, okay? They have two separate stomachs, one for Bennigan's, one for Red Lobster. <laughs> and they regrow limbs like a starfish. Don't get sucked into their little pity game. Those limbs grow back. Have you ever seen anybody black without all their limbs ever? Because I have. <laughs> name one. Name one person. One black person that doesn't have their legs. You can't name one. No. Well, they should live under the sea. And, you know... I, obviously, I can't say that, but wow, they belong in the ocean. I <laughs> mean, all right, play, hold on. That is just disturbing. He, he's right, though. That is that, okay. <laughs> like that's out of, <laughs> that's <laughs> offensive <laughs> if it's taken in context. <laughs> that's out of context. <laughs> But you tell me you wouldn't be happy under the sea. No, we won't be happy under the sea. It's <laughs> disturbing, Kurt. I thought I could trust you. Of all the whiteies that ever came around me, I thought you were the one to trust it. But no. All right. Well, I, don't know. I can weather. I think I can weather those two. There are more. We'll play the the rest of them later in the show. <laughs> have more. Ah, oh, you're brutal. <laughs> I'm glad that I Who had. Who keeps my... recording me? Don't worry That's about what... it. I got to end. This is what I, I can't nice piece end. together. Who keeps recording me? <laughs> the person you trust the most. <laughs> I... I'm drawing a blank. Oh shit! I just splattered water everywhere. It's like now we got to get into the Cincinnati thing. University of uh, the security guard shooting a black man in the head for no reason. Mark, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Oh, okay. Ray Tinsling is that the 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 cop? 
I'm not going to call him a cop. This is the first even... I'm hearing about this, so. Sam, Sam do, break down. You know the story, right? Yeah, he walked, he, the cop pulled the guy over for um for being black, I think. that was and, and Okay, he, I'm he, with him. So yeah. far, so far, so good, right? Yeah, no problem so far. Regular shit. No, I didn't, dude, dude asked why he pulled me over. When he went to answer the question, he said, get out of the car. So, you know, they went back and forth for a minute. We, we reached to get out of the car, and the cops said, stop what you're doing. Before the guy can stop what he does, he shot him in the head. He shot him in the head. Like, wow, and this, was it even a cop or was it just like a security guard with a gun? No, no, he was like a legit cop. He's a university, he's a university, university cop. Police officer. So, Is that yeah. a real cop? So? They got guns. They got guns. Wow. They got real guns. I guess that's what the difference is. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. He's not a Paul Blart motherfucker yeah. with a fucking Segway. <laughs> right. <laughs> that motherfucker got steel. <laughs> you and shot him in his head. Why do cops keep shooting people in the face? Not people, black people. Yeah, right. <laughs> so People fine. So, okay, so he goes, he pulls him over and he goes, why am I being pulled over? And right. then he said, I ain't even do anything he said he didn't have a tag on his front that's usually like a vanity tag or something yeah I, he he have a tag. Have a tag. so he, he gets out of the car he, or he doesn't get out of the no, car no he's about to get out of the car take it off his seat belt and the cop's like what you doing he's like you told me to get out of the car what are you <laughs> wow they just shot him in the face well, I don't know. I didn't know. I didn't even know about that story. Yeah, Sam they're really kind of piling up now. Oh, well, the video just came out today. The victim wow. name is Sam Dubo. He's forty three year old black man. Shot him in his head, and now the cop is being charged with murder. Have you seen the video? Yeah. Yes. Disturbing. What happened to that cop that shot that guy in the back? That was also on video. Oh, South and Carolina. He got it. arrested. He did get arrested. Yeah. Because that was crazy. Dude. Yeah. Straight up executed. Four, four cops have been indicted this year for shooting people. All dude, it's videotaped. all because of video, man. Yeah. That yeah, I video think everybody yeah. starved for attention. If we, we weren't videotaping cops, they wouldn't shoot black people. Because right? <laughs> everybody wants to... That's, it's such a culture of <laughs> narcissism. And, you know, if we stop videotaping, then there's no en enticement <laughs> for it's police us. officers right. to shoot black men. <laughs> Because when you see that red light on, you want to perform. You yeah. Something. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. In fact, you know, whenever I do, like, The Tonight Show, my first inclination is to shoot the roots. <laughs> <laughs> there's something about being on... I don't know. There's something about the red light and wanting to shoot a black man, especially if they're unarmed. Uh, yes. Yes. I, okay. At least we're making some progress. I'm getting to see the other side of it. <laughs> oh, my God. I would like, love to see Questlove with two or three in him. Dude, <laughs> so, why not? He can fucking tolerate it with those thighs. Anywho. Oh, oh, oh. I'm just saying he has secretary spread. That's all I'm saying. He has the secretary spread. <laughs> it's from drumming all day. Stand oh, up and drum. Quest has spillage. <laughs> He's spilling over on his thighs. Whatever. I went to spilling over. <laughs> it's a good university. <laughs> I mean, yeah, every one oh, of these stories shit. is like, they shot a black guy, would they have a tape? All right, cool. Hopefully that'll something will happen. Like, Nothing's going to happen. Somebody is going to get shot two weeks from now in the face by a fucking phony cop. Um, Yeah, I don't, you know, do you think you, you, there, we could be like a country that didn't have guns at all? I'm not even saying we should be. I'm just saying, is that even a possibility here? I don't think so. You know why? Here's the problem. Guns are so much fucking fun to shoot. I know. People dude. never discuss that. People always say gun violence. Nigga, go pick up a gun, go in the woods and shoot it. Sure. You're gonna be out there for hours having a but ball. Not only is that awesome, have you tried shooting them at black people? <laughs> it's fucking amazing. You say this to me? This is the question you say to me. Of course I have. Of course. They have a stomach bone that makes them run faster. <laughs> <laughs> so it digests his and run faster. <laughs> it can break down crab meat. <laughs> you know, worse. Oh, Shit. good God almighty. Yeah, the same thing's going to happen in a second, in another week. Yeah. I know, you, you know. What did that cop, you was on CNN with that cop, too. Oh, the racist one. Yes. Yeah. What's his name? Oh, you got to be more specific. Uh, Harry. Harry. <laughs> Y'all always got the split screen battling, nigga, on CNN. I love it. I just want to know how many people Harry shot when he was a cop. Several. Well, yeah. what did he say? He's, this one he couldn't even say. I mean, they shot somebody in the face on tape. There's nothing you can say. He just said that the only time cops ever... He said the thing that you said. Pretty much the only time cops kill people is when they're on tape. Mm -hmm. That every other every other person. Remember, lying. he said that's the that's, that's, that's what he said one time on air. He <laughs> yeah, said it's on air. <laughs> Test one <laughs> two <laughs> one two. Well, that, okay. Okay. Ready? Here. A <laughs> I'm only doing this. I'm only doing this in <laughs> one day. <laughs> <one thing. laughs> oh my good God, buddy. <laughs>
<laughs> so disturbing. Well, they, they have a whole kind of philosophy of that, though. The people, because I always say well, I'm anti-death penalty, not because I give a shit if you're guilty and they kill you, but just if you get the wrong guy. I don't want the wrong guy to get killed, right? So their their <laughs> argument is, it's never happened. Right. It's not, I, I watch a guy... Uh, what the fuck? He was a black conservative guy. I'm Bill Maher saying that. He's from Texas. He's a representative or something. I can't remember his name. But he said, I, I'm like my draw. I couldn't even believe that. He said it never happened. That the he wrong goes, person. yeah, but this, just before that, he's talking about how government can't do anything. So all of a sudden, when it comes to that, suddenly government's government is powerful. perfect. Right. That's right. fucking amazing. That's great. Right. And that was a black dude? Yeah. He I seemed like a, a dude you would have known that you brought on the show set? from Fox. Oh, really? Like that kind of... Yeah, like... He's got a little, like, New York Post in him? What? Yeah, he had a, what'd you say? Is he a heavy set black man? I can't remember. Like, media? He looked like uh, the dad from Malcolm in the Middle of the Kid in the Wheelchair. Kurt don't know if black... <laughs> <laughs> Kurt don't know if black people are, like, heavy set or skinny because they're wearing black, so he just sees him. It's all thinning to him. <laughs> Freed, late, late, Freed. <laughs> oh we got running on the mics. We got Godfrey over here too. I know. Well, get, get to the rest of the stuff because we're gonna have. I to wanted have, to get uh, to the Cosby New York Magazine. Well, then we're gonna have to talk to Dr. Cosby if we're gonna talk about that. Get, the, get him on that mic over I there. Mean, will somebody yeah, just Freedly? Because let me just switch out just briefly. Somebody switch or uh, switch with Aaron. Yeah. Or how do, can we bring Aaron in on a mic? Yeah, let us share your mic. Wait, Aaron, you know what? Come get it. Can we get her a chair and then she just shares a mic? You know what I mean? And they sneak in early when you're like, what? Get on that mic, Freed. Lead Freed. Godfrey. Oh, Godfrey has his own? Oh, you got one over there. Okay, good. Wait, but Dr. Cosby, okay, does good, Dr. Good. Cosby have his own? Danielle, you can stay there. Oh, you can bring that chair. Okay, go over there. You can go over there. Okay, okay. so do you want me to? I think they want you on that mic. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You want me? Yeah, take that chair. Yeah. Right. Okay. You know that. Andrew, do you already know about this news story? <laughs> I know. Guys, this is the part where we arrange chairs. Because, listen, I'm sorry. First of all, Dr. Bill Cosby is coming into the studio. Okay, before so, uh, we do that, before we go to Dr. Cosby, let's go to a caller real fast, shall uh, we? Yeah, caller, go ahead. Here we go. Sorry. I'm right. tipping you. We, okay. Uh, Face the wall. There's a little bit to do. We're going we to we tap on the shooting. Okay. This is Brandon? All right, Brandon, what's up? Mark Frank. Is he him? I want to answer this dude. Brandon, you there? No, it ain't quite there. Hello? I don't hear nothing. What kind of show is this? <laughs> Guys, if we have too much dead air, we are contractually huh? obligated to say nigger a lot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to click over here. Please. <laughs> okay. is it, who would happen to Brandon? Can or do you have a different caller? Director? <laughs> There we What's, go. Yeah. That one. Everybody's holding their breath, no. waiting to see what happens. Oh. Mm. I just like to see all these white people scramble. I, it is awesome. It's Look, like I'm the surrounded apart. by white people right now. Look at this. Dude, it's like something went wrong. <laughs> it's what Dr. King wanted. <laughs> it's like a moon okay, launch now. went okay. bad, and all okay, these guys so are scrambling now. I'm going to try to get the Brandon right now from oh Texas. Brandon. Brandon, you there? Yes, sir, Sherrod. You're killing it on the morning show. I love you, man. Thank you, brother. I love you, too. I love you right back, Brandon. What's, uh, so what's going on? That video, that video was online, and the officer says he pulled the guy over for no front license plate. And then right. they, ha they talked for they talked for about sixty seconds. The guy looks for his license for sixty seconds. The black guy says, "I have a license. You can go look it up in your car." And the officer says, "Do you have the license on you?" And they they, they argue back and forth for about sixty seconds. And then the the black guy starts his car up and drives off, and the the cop is kind of holding onto the car for about one to two seconds, and then he takes out his gun and shoots him in the head while the black guy takes off in the car. That's what that's what happened. So I, I hope he gets life in jail. He straight up murdered that dude. He didn't he didn't deserve to get shot in the head just because he chose to drive off. I didn't see him drive off. I didn't see the drive off part either. I think only white people saw him drive off. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Were you watching white white vision? Hold on. Is it but there is a very distinct possibility this is two separate things. Getting confused. Oh the whole thing's on World Star? Yeah. yeah, yeah, the whole video where he drives off as a world star. Yeah, sir. Whenever your evidence is world star, no. <laughs> <laughs> he got shot. No, the video. No, I get it. They released the video. Yeah. And what do you say, Mark? Well, he didn't drive off after he got shot in the face. His body fell forward and and no, he hit the no pedal problem. and then the no. car moved. Speeding is speeding, well, Mark. He's getting to it. <laughs> <laughs> what he's saying is he was driving away and the cop shot him for trying to drive away. Is that what you're trying to say, Brandon? I'm saying. I'm saying. The, the the officer instead of instead of holding on and getting dragged, he he chose to shoot the person. What about letting go? 
<laughs> yeah, there's that option, right? <laughs> he should have just let it go and let the guy drive off. There's no way I'm letting a guy with no front plate get away. <laughs> that is not why I got into campus police <laughs> to let front plates run wild. <laughs> Hey, that's a good look. They already charged him with murder, though. That that came. I mean, it took ten days to get here. So this happened on uh, July nineteenth. Yeah, and they charged him with murder real fast. All right, yeah. thanks, Brandon. We appreciate it, brother. Y'all, have, y'all have a good one, man. You too. Take care. I don't think that's true. Yeah. Now, what he was about to what he was about to say? Yeah, he was the who me? Yeah, you. That he was driving away, and they clearly now there's two sides of this story. Do you think he <laughs> had already soaked it into his fucking brain? Yeah. Hold on, I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I see how he had to do it. <laughs> it already soaked into your dumb white brain. <laughs> see, we didn't we didn't hear that on your fucking liberal news. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Did your liberal news report that he drove away after a clear command to He's not do <laughs> All right, Aaron, what do you want to do? You're talking about something about Aaron. Why do you bring Aaron to the mic? Oh, the- so because uh, Cosby. So this is the other deposition okay. that she can talk about. Oh, you can talk about Cosby, but you can't talk about Hulk Hogan. I am going to say the safe word so loud. Do <laughs> <laughs> you bring it up? Either way, Aaron's losing her job after this show. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's do it. Yeah. Thanks. So so you know Aaron probably pr- pretty well, right? Because this has to be a big story, especially Jezebel, the Cosby deposition. Yeah. Um... I mean, do, you mean like the New York Magazine story? <laughs> well, describe what it is now, what we know from the definition. So, so far, 46 women have accused Bill Cosby of sexual assault. Liars! I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, that was well, me. Well, I mean, it sorry. is. That 46, you know, the, the standard unit is 50 women equals one man. So oh, he's four right. away. Four, we just need four more, and then we can be like, okay. And that man's a liar. Yeah, he's a <laughs> liar. <laughs> um, yeah, there's, so there's, 40, there's 46 of them. Um, 35 of them pose for New York Magazine's cover, okay. along with an empty chair, which represents the ones that are still out there. The ghosts, the ghost rapes. Yeah, the, the, ghost the ones rape. ghost dad fucking <laughs> <laughs> ghost dad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you, there's just a hat floating in one of the chairs. I saw a hat, a trench coat, some kids was running around. <laughs> but the, what, uh, what I want to know is why is the deposition out? Like, how did this come out now that he's he answered? Is that the old case? Yeah. Got so leaked? this is from 2005, and it didn't really get leaked as much as like the New York Times was like looking into it, and they were like, we're gonna you know FOIA this and try to get this, and then they were like, oh, you can get it through a court reporting service. Like it was there. So they could have just mm. reported they on it this whole time. Had it the whole time. <laughs> really? Which is. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's pretty... So what do you think personally, Aaron? You think uh, uh, Dr. Cosby is guilty? Well, wait, th- here's what's on the deposition. Oh, what is it? It's about, he says, yes, oh. he, would, he would give he, people He did. He, he confirmed that he would like give people quaaludes and then... like. So shouldn't he be disqualified for juicing? <laughs> I, mean, but I don't think that 46 counts. Yeah, yeah, no. I think that are... number should go way down. If he was juicing, I can't if trust If honor it. matters and fair play, I think... Those numbers a... don't... <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, Keep it would be out. the women were the ones that were juiced. It wasn't him, so they would be the ones yeah. disqualified. Keep not him out the hall. <laughs> well, okay, <laughs> the hall of rape. Do you say, oh. <laughs> so do you say the Sultan of Because I think it, I, I think it's just such a number. You know, let's say a bunch of them are lying. It's still like a huge number. Yeah, let's I mean, say it's just twelve are telling the truth. It's still too many, probably. Yeah, I think every time every time there's like a bunch of people and they have kind of the same story over a long time, it's sort of hard to disbelieve all of them like what are the odds that 46 women would have similar and grandmothers are coming that's what really yeah and like what grandmother say you know he raped me right what grandmother says that he raped everybody he raped a lot of people i grew up in philly and everybody knew growing up bill cosby rapes people Really? Yeah! I blame that's, Philly. Okay, that's yeah. an old... I blame Philadelphia for yeah. that. Oh, thank you. Yeah, wow. Bill Cosby's having a fundraiser. Okay, just don't drink no TV. Wasn't that where his set was, though? Wasn't really? that where his set was that got recorded? It was in Philly? Yeah! So Philly is the center of all this. Yes! Yeah. Bill Cosby Cheese steaks and rapes. Yeah. Well, okay, so... I mean, look, we've all made our mind up, I guess, but I, I, I think it'd be only fair <laughs> to let... Uh, he should speak for himself. Yeah, Dr. Bill Cosby. I'd love to hear from him. Dr. Cosby, uh, and I'm sorry to bring you in this way. <laughs> Ah, free late late free. But how how do you address this? You this deposition. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did it, and then she said that I did, and then it's over. And then I said, "What are you doing?" I said, "Are you thirsty?" And then I sat there, and then I said the thing, and I said it, and she was all over, 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 over. I said, "What is this? 
Wow. Sit down. Just have fun. Do your thing, please. And then sit there. Bo, 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 bo. Stop. Oh, boy. Here it comes. So you're thirsty. Drinks. You drank the thing. And I just sat there. And, uh, bo, 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 bo. Wait, now, Dr. Cosby. Yes. You saw the magazine cover, right? I saw it. You recognize those women? Do, uh, the, the Incredible? What's, what's going on with that? When I saw the cover, and it looked, I said, one, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, Wait, okay, fifteen, we know, we know how many. sixteen, God damn it, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, we know how many twenty-four, are. shut up, I'm not finished, twenty-five, twenty-six, oh boy, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, you know I was on Sesame Street, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. Forty-one. <laughs> okay. How many? Forty-two. Only he knows. Only he knows how 43, many. Forty-three. Forty-four. Forty-five. Forty-six. <laughs> they were on the front. I saw it. Oh, yeah. And I counted. What? Okay. What? What? What did you say, Andrew? <laughs> I was just gonna say this. <laughs> Off what Mark was saying, there's a classic story about Cosby, uh, about how everybody knew. Yeah. Keenan Thompson tells the story that when he was on the set of uh, Fat Albert, when yeah. he met Bill Cosby, Bill Cosby was in character, said, you know, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> you, you ready to do this? And Keenan was like, oh, it's so nice to meet you. I'm so, you know, it's, it's always been my dream to, to work with you, et cetera, et cetera. Then Cosby took him in private and was like, yo, you're going to need two dicks. Once this, much. once this movie comes out, you're going to need two dicks. One's the raping like, dick. What? <laughs> <laughs> one's when you're right. Why well, don't when... tell Camille about it? <laughs> <laughs> I think Camille knows. <laughs> yeah, Camille oh, knows. Sorry, I, I, worked for Co I worked for Cosby in 97, man. I, for what? I, was, I, was, I was audience coordinator uh, in uh, Queens when I was roommates with Mike Epps. Which was funny, and yeah, he was. There would women be. Well, there would be a bunch of women on the. I heard some set. stuff, but I didn't think he was raping. But I know there would be. I heard like he would be a little aggressive. That's what I would hear. <laughs> but there would be. A, I'm not gonna leave him bullshitting you. He because you could walk into his office. He would let you just walk in his office. You could say, "Hey, Mr. Cobb, what's up?" <laughs> And he was With like, hey, Barbaro. Ah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I mean, that's how he was. And so there was always women on the set all the time, mm. like just waiting around for, for Dr. You, Cosby. I knew that him and Robin the Gibbons had a little, <laughs> him and Robin you, Gibbons wait. back in the day before she married Mike Tyson. Yeah. Right. I had rumors, allegedly, yeah. he was paying for her Harvard education mm. because he what? was tapping it. Of how to avoid predators in the future? But that's Robin, though, for you. How did this go on for so long? Like, if this is like something, like, why do you guys think it? Because if you on? don't have, first of all, if yeah. you don't have proof of anything, right? Yeah. And let you be the one saying a thing about somebody famous without, like, everybody's America's like, dead. These are white women. Usually, you I mean, you mean, a lot of they, white women. Yo, Mark, wow. that's what I've been saying. That's what I've been amazed Isn't by. Isn't that, uh, uh, well, tells that's you how your, far we've easier come? to trick. <laughs> <laughs> you see how far we've this come? This was Dr. King's dream. That no one believes these white women. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> In the 60s, no one would have believed white women if Bill Cosby. That's amazing. Bill, that's how famous Bill Cosby yeah. was. That the cops looked at the white woman like this. Why would he rape you? Yeah. <laughs> well, Beverly Johnson was one of the women that accused him. She like yeah. wrote a thing in Vanity Fair. She like the first black supermodel like wrote yeah. about it. So that's it how hard like, it is to be in a black anything. Well, yeah. I'm surprised she can write. <laughs> So, uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's right. Jackie Robinson got raped. Whoa, whoa. Allegedly. <laughs> That's the, the first black Jackie? Anything. Is it Comes the with Jackie a rape. Thing? Yeah. He Comes just had the misfortune of being named Jackie. How, so, Honest mistake. <laughs> but in the thing, he, Obama he says, raped. He got raped in the White House. <laughs> who's the one Allegedly. Cosby's talking to in the deposition? Oh. It's a girl that's You're the first black guy on Red Eye, right? No. No. <laughs> I came right behind one other dude who got raped. <laughs> I see where you was going with that part. I raped him. <laughs>
Wow. Uh, do you know this thing that Cosby said? <laughs> I'm I glad I just you? made you swallow. Go ahead. What you, Cosby said in the deposition. Okay. What? So this girl, she was a model, and like he was afraid of what her mom thought of him. That's the Canadian girl? I, is, do you know uh, who I'm talking about? Know, I didn't read the entire I know, deposition. It's so That's funny. He girl. goes, tell your mother about the orgasm. The orgasm that she had. Right. right. Yeah. So his, mom wouldn't, so his mom wouldn't think he was gross, so her mom wouldn't think he was gross. And it was consensual because she had an orgasm. That's there why. Was, oh, my God. One of the, <laughs> you know, the, the main woman in the deposition is gay? And, like, in the dep- and she's, like, been talking about how, like, he just couldn't read the signals. Like, he had no idea that she was gay. And he was like, oh, I'm going to. Wait, is that politically that correct to um, call a woman, if she gets raped, you call her, that's gay? <laughs> <laughs> That's so well, gay I mean, getting raped. It's, it's, it's like petty. a term of endearment. First of know. all, Aaron, you should uh, listen. Everyone's straight in their sleep. That's a <laughs> or gay. <laughs> you know, Which we're other? having a lot of laughs, but we're not thinking about <laughs> the real victim here. The pharmacist with carpal tunnel syndrome <laughs> <laughs> who wrote all those Dude, prescriptions. Dude, he was getting them from his gynecologist. For, for Bill Cosby had a gynecologist. Who that's a raper. He wait, was a gynecologist. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. Dr. Huckabee. He was getting, he had a, gy- like, he had a gynecologist Dr. for whatever Huckabee. reason who was prescribing him. Was it him. He's Dr. Huckabee. I, I am a gynecologist. Don't, don't, don't. Don't forget what involved. Don't, don't, don't. Don't. <laughs> we- <laughs> a good point too. A lot of these women think thought they were the only one getting Wait, raped. You Cosby. don't think you get raped in groups? Hold on, Cosby. You, you just had- think you're the only victim. Yeah, that's true. You had a gynecologist, Doctor Cosby. Is that true? Yes. Yes. Why? Because. <laughs> because you know the, the that thing. Was what? That's what they do. What? Gynecologist is this. Why How? would you, a grown man, also a doctor? Yes. But all, mainly a man. Yes. <laughs> wow. Have to go yeah, well. to uh, a gynecologist, which is, you know, a what? vagina doctor. Why would you have to go to that? Well, I just to ask what the parts are important. Because you got to ask, you got to know the anatomy of the super doctor. <laughs> so I go for advice from the thing, and he tells me, "Go, he touch that, the doop, the doop, and then oh boy!" And so that's I had to get the expert advice to make sure I was in the right places. Oh, wow! Shit. Oh, that explains all the pap smears. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> well, thank you, Doctor Cox. Yeah, you're welcome. Do, do, do. Are they? Got to go back and do some more raping. <laughs> 47, 48, 49. Keep them coming, motherfuckers. You haven't proven shit. 50, 51. I hope there's a, te- a fucking Bible full of women on the bench. You can have a poster, son of a bitch. I'm going to bust nuts on all of them, Mark. Is that a seven? 79, 80. <laughs> oh, shit. He's 50s. Well, he 50s. likes what he likes. Cosby likes what he likes, man. He takes that pussy. I'm going to get a blanket yeah. made of all the women on this a, a shower curtain with all the ladies that are raped. <laughs> you going to make the New York Magazine cover into a shower curtain? Shower curtain. All the bitches that are raped come into the showers. Well, I room. mean, uh, does Camille approve of that kind of shit? She's approved this shit for years. Come yeah, on. Camille. Down with it. Listen, Come on, man. That money's so long. She's like, on. just don't let me see it. Is Camille the new Dottie Sandusky? Is she the new, like, <laughs> yes. ding dong? I didn't know what was on. happening in that basement. <laughs> yes. Dottie doesn't go in the basement. That's the only rule we have. <laughs> it's all lies. Because <laughs> yeah. Camille would have left a long kid. time ago, man. Oh, Camille man. would have left a long time ago, but the 80s hit 90s, and that money came in. Whoop! She got a little dotty sand dust and looked up the way. Oh, bullshit. No. Like, if you're with. I mean, okay. She, so fucking, she, she definitely did, but. Right, like, right, right. I knew she. I knew. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Nobody knows they yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're mm. with somebody you want to believe that they're not yeah. a monster. So, right. like, confirmation bias is pretty crazy. Like, I'm sure she's like, no, no, no. no. Like, my yeah. whole life is ro- is riding on this being wrong. So yeah. I choose to believe that it's wrong. Yeah. And, like, that's. I mean, it's just like whenever, you know, you're with somebody and they tell you some bullshit story, they're like, oh, no, I was. My phone died. I'd three nights in a row at the same time. It's like, oh yeah, your phone died. That's yeah, totally Camille, yeah. Plus, Camille is like... Uh, Camille's dumb. Listen. <laughs> no, no, Camille's no, like, he's not, a... Ser- it, listen, it's she not said, dumbness. It's he's not. a serial a cheater. It's like, right. yeah, bitch, why are you still there then? I don't well, care if it's raping or cheating. black people. All black people don't get divorced. Shit. They get separate bedrooms. Somebody get killed. 
<laughs> Somebody get murdered. Dude, the, the creepy part of the Cosby thing is is how much he's like supposed Camille to. Camille was doing. too busy uh, picking out all his sweaters. <laughs> <laughs> Camille knew what's going on, man. Hell yeah! At least one. You think she knew one? No, she knew. How would she know he was raping okay. somebody? She knew he was. Stop. He didn't like. How would he know? Because Dasha she goes through his shit like any other woman. Go through his phone like what any other woman. Dasha, what can I say? She she had a he had to. He had to go and have a deposition. Let's ask Doctor Cosby. How did you? How did you hide this from Camille this whole time? How do you get around Camille when you were getting your side action? I'm not even calling you guilty, but I think you probably did do it. But how did you hide it from Camille? How did I hide it? Told her to go to the other wing because the house was big as shit. Oh, all right. Let's say, well, Camille, go all the way to the wing. I want to tell some jokes to these people, teach them how to do comedy. Camille walking around so, with a hair looking like fucking Willie Randolph. No wonder he's out fucking bitches. You like look Willie like first Randolph. season of Urkel, bitch. Will <laughs> you have to play him as hell. She got Willie, Willie Randolph. Randolph. She got fucking second baseman's hair. Fuck second me. Baseman. It bugs me. <laughs> Dr. Oh, Cosby, do you yes. like, how do you feel about Camille's hair? Do you like it? It's nice. It's cute. Mega. She has cute. Oh, she has like old lady cute hair. Yeah. She's cute old lady. But she had it for sixty years. Camille was no, fine as shit back fine. in the day. Yeah, she was. Camille was. She was fine. fine like yeah, he's, he's, he's like, like your favorite teacher's fine, goofy and like, old, always boring. I guess what, during my childhood, but I'm saying he's like 80, so she's what? I never looked at something? Camille. I always looked at Camille and said like that. He needs to dump Camille for Felicia Rashad. Why? Why didn't he just marry that bitch? Well, because Camille well, looked like she was a bore. Right. Yo, I got at, on that. Who, oh yeah, but he hooked up that. That's the only one he didn't rape because he passed it off to Amara Rashad. Mm, I wonder huh? if you Should we go to commercial? Her, Everybody nervous now? Because I'm talking real? <laughs> Is she coming out? You think so? Uh-oh. Who? Claire, <laughs> don't say nothing. <laughs> 78. That's what I'm saying. 95. I like that the dude who played Denise's husband came out and did that whole thing. Joseph C. Phillips? He was great. Right. He, he, he said, came out on him? He said, whatever Cosby does now until the end of his life is going to predict what he is to us. Yeah. Because we already know this shit. So now, Damn. now step up and be a man about it. What do you think he's gonna come? What do you think he's gonna do? He ain't gonna do shit. How could you possibly be a Wait. man about that? Like, yeah. what because you can <laughs> own up to it. So what? Uh, what in the world? Like, oh, okay, you're. He it's okay. That. It's God fine. Say, oh, he, he said it. Oh, he admitted it. Come it's get fine. your punishment for it. That's the only thing you can do you to make things right. His he punishment is apologize. what's happening to him right now because the statute of limitations has expired on all the crimes except one. Let me tell you something. A statute of limitations. You I've never run late on killing a motherfucker yourself. A stabbing. Wait, why is there a statute of limitations on rape? Yeah, why is there? Does anybody know? Eh, you forget about it. Is that what just it is? No, it's no because it's, it's, like, it's hard to keep evidence. No, it's because it's, <coughs> it's yeah because it's like evidence? rape kits are really hard to like keep and it's it's like you uh, you, you know it's hard to gather evidence. No. The real no. important part like of the story, the important part of the story is really what cockroach thought about this whole thing. <laughs> Is Cockroach involved? I'm sure he raped in his day. Nigga named Cockroach. Carl Payne? <laughs> Carl Payne. <laughs> Carl Payne? He's selling cars in L.A. I saw him. Dang. What? Don't he say is? what like that. That's a good job. Cockroach sells cars? <laughs> <laughs> Cockroach is raping. Yeah, yeah. Dude. They're selling all them. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if, uh, uh what's his name going to come out? Allegedly. Uh, what's his name? Um, oh, gosh. Theo. <laughs> what's his name? What's his name? God, he just. Oh, Michael, Michael Jamal Warner. Michael Jamal Warner. I wonder if. He's not saying much. None of them are saying nothing. Damn, Bud. Yeah, Bud. I don't know where anybody is. Nobody was really talking about it except we, for it's, right. fucking, it's fucking up their money. They only get they only eat yeah, off Cosby Show. Well, the rich, yeah. well, the rich ones are richer than all yeah. of them now. That's so. why she could talk about it. Yeah, Bud right. is like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, Bud is like, yeah, that's my weed money. Up. That's my Bud's money. Cut yeah. the residuals, then you start talking. Damn. They cut no more reruns, man. It's like Damn. it's better than listen. Michael Jackson was a genius for dying. What if they just cut <laughs> Cosby? die? Remember when I said to you, like they just cut Cosby out of the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, I, I, think actually the, I think the Onion did that. Oh, they did it. Yeah, oh. yeah. They made him like a black square, and then the next scene, he's like a smiley face that screams <laughs> <laughs> instead of talking. <laughs> we were oh, laughing because we were this laughing about uh, Seinfeld re-release Seinfeld without Kramer. <laughs> <laughs> just the doors just open. Hugging and empty. <laughs> <laughs> but Cosby still does concerts, though. Shit, people still, still go too, see, and they he packs it. Cause, Cause old black people don't want to hear nothing that nobody wants to say. probably mainly white crowds. They go well, out. Old white people, people too. Hell Maybe they're yeah, just they doing it out. ironically. Like, haha, I'm laughing at this rapist. No, it's probably like churchy fucking people like this. Ah, they just going after them. 
He's like, I didn't do a concert him. tour. I think it, all, <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> do ba 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 <laughs> she wanted oh. to be an actress. It wasn't me. <laughs> Are you thirsty? It wasn't me. That's my favorite song. You should uh, release a remix of it. I'm yeah. thinking Dr. about Cosby. it, but yeah. no one wants to record. Oh, uh, we would play it every. We would open the show if, uh, if Dr. Cosby saying it wasn't me right now. We they, would open some the show. DJ should just throw it out there regardless. <laughs> This show's on fire tonight. Have Dr. Cosby <laughs> sing it, and then maybe someone can put music behind it. <laughs> somebody listening, it will play. How's somebody going to animate it already? Yeah. But listen, we got to oh. take a break, though. Oh, we got to take a go quick break. break. Right. For, yeah. I want to thank everybody for coming, too. You guys yeah. want to stick around for the next hour? It's gonna, this is going to fly by. This is fun times. Yeah. Oh, it's 10. It's 10 o'clock already. Wow. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Race Wars, baby. Believe it. Race Wars. We'll be right back. And they just told me all this. Fucking old woman gets on. That's what it is. I don't give a shit. No, they'll kick your fucking Thanks, face in. That's why well, I like them. I do kind of like you a it. Who is it? To the face. Say, say the name of it again. Sleaford uh, Mod. That's the name of it. It's an English dude. Sleaford Mod is a new group. Sleaford? This is the second, second album, actually. Spell it. S-E-S-L-E-A-F-O-R-D. Sleaford. I'm a Sleaford Mod. So the name of the song is Bronx in a Six. Spell it one more time. Sleaford Mod. S L E A F O R D Mod. M O D S. And the name of the song is Bronx in a Six. Live a little, you nice, fucking nerds. Nice, fucking hell. I'm gonna get that right, fucking Kick you right in your fucking Chevy Chase. No, did you right, go you any, fucking did you go to England ever? Yeah. What'd you go for? Just hanging out, fucking oh. fucking girls. Nice. Oh. What you go for? Nerd jokes? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> no, nice one, Sharon. I went for uh, 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 Steinberg sent me for um, <laughs> oh boy <laughs> on a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> I had to I had to ride my bike there. <laughs> yeah, you. That's and, uh, Steinberg for you. It was called the Real Deal Comedy Jam. Oh Jesus! Uh, the black jam room. at the end. That's a black room because man. that's international <laughs> jam. That's international law that all black shows must. Must End have a jam. jam. <laughs> <laughs> something, something. Jam. You people in your jam. jam you love your jamborees. Uh, <laughs> it is short for jamboree. <laughs> so, uh. so, uh, but the guys that ran it, I, I fucking love the dudes that ran the thing were the coolest dudes. Like I loved it. it they, they were awesome. Were they English black dudes? English black dudes. They were hilarious. Like yeah. just to have, be. And then they get in fights, and you know, like they're so fucking polite still because they're British. So they'd be talking like, "Well, I don't appreciate it, mate. But if you don't tell me ahead, I'm, I'm just." Sitting here, I, oh, you guys are fighting. And I had to like leave. You know, it was a poetry slam. They're, yeah, they're pouring fucking teacups and shit. And like, I don't appreciate it, mate. And, uh, and also, this is great. My pants were too loose there. My pants have never been right for black people around the world. Yeah. No. Like when I started in Philly, I, my pants are too fucking tight. In England, it's too loose. One guy's like, we've got to get you tied to pants, mate. <laughs> this guy, cat, cat like a, voice. I can't a cool see guy. your heartbeat in your dick. That's Damn. Damn. Fucking way they're paying. Yes, but imagine feeling white as hell for entirely new weird reasons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like it's, it was like fringe, like in like the alternate world. So the guy who's like the Kevin Hart of there, All right? right? <laughs> but young, like Kevin at the beginning. Well, like, so his name's Cat Boyce, and he's cool as shit. Okay. Like I really, really like to do. He fucking. I couldn't tell you what any of their comedy is, by the way. They like they might as well have been speaking gibberish. All these people, like their English accents, yeah, are so heavy, especially when they get. I have no idea what they're talking about. It's just like when you run into Jamaicans, they get more Jamaican because you ain't Jamaican. Uh, the crowds, the crowds, <laughs> they want to intimidate you with the fucking predominantly nonsense. Jamaican crowds. Predominantly, yeah, because okay? that's the yeah, because it's well, it, the Jamaican Africans, was a British challenge. Yeah, and they weren't that into me. The Africans were into me. Like just yeah. Nigerian girl. First night, you I was bombed. like, you know, Sade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first night that's hysterical dude <laughs> even if you don't know what shot is like really dude the first night there i banged a nigerian model after bombing it was like opposite land yeah 
<laughs> so you okay. bombed? Bombed, and black girl took me home. And Nigeria, hold up. Godfrey's Nigerian now. He smashed one of your fucking, uh... Because Nigerians... Bring back our girls. Don't you listen. <laughs> <laughs> we can't find them. Listen, He's I don't know where they are. Nigga, he's taking Nigerians, down your bringbacks. See, we are looking. Don't you? <laughs> we are still looking. I looked under the couch, can't find nothing. <laughs> but I can see my soccer ball. Super Eagles. Super, Super Eagles. Eagles. Super Eagles. Why do everybody worry about the girls? What about the soccer team? <laughs> Bring back our boys. <laughs> Bring back them. Huh? Super Eagles. Bring them back. Look at Mark. I Mark's the shame about blackness. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, Mark is like, and this is the problem with the black community. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> I believe as a black man, we should stop putting down our race and get together on an international, national basis. Black people are going to be like, Mark, what were you doing around those niggas? <laughs> <laughs> That's just what I was thinking. Mark got CNN credibility. You better Mark, chill. Mark Sherrod with books. That's what he is. He's me if I had fucking access to books. <laughs> Anderson Cooper said you a sad face. Are you just CNN face. or MSNBC too? Yeah, it's CNN. It's just CNN, CNN, man. Oh, you don't fucking with MSNBC? No, I can't. Why? Well, of course, you signed a contract with it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so yeah. you're always against that one Republican dude. Who's his name? That one cop oh, dude. That one the white dude, the Republican with the Republican. He has that What's hair. His name? That Republican oh, ben hair. Ferguson. Ben Ferguson. He has that uh, hair. Ben that waff. You hate him? Do you hate him? No, uh, they got they get along. Like Aaron, yeah, do you know who Ben Ferguson is? I believe that. Uh, I turn out to pay attention to CNN. <laughs> oh. Hey. oh. Shots fired. Wait, I heard Hold they found the plane, Aaron, though. I heard they found the plane. I might watch CNN again. Yeah. <laughs> the plane? I was going to say, is that... No fucking choice. I watch CNN. Is that why you watch it? You you had to... <laughs> you're sick of knowing about the plane? Every time a plane goes down, CNN covered that CNN's shit. CNN's the place to go for the plane, or if you want to get your news from they, D.L. Hughley. Dude, they... <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. We should get him on, dude. We He's actually get very on. good yeah, at things. Uh, but CNN, dude, they, then they had a simulation of, like, this is if the plane was wet, what it would look like uh, they, Dude, they, it was like you know why that guy that got kicked off M or he left NBC the one that switched Leno and Conan who's the, the guy Zuckerberg Zucker Jeff Zucker, D uh, Zucker. Oh, Zucker. that was his Jeff idea Zucker. all that plane coverage yeah that's him that's his magic touch remember when he's like what if we make the Today Show longer and uh, that was yeah. his fucking innovation <laughs> he got Who me on watches a that, dude? I want to know: Is anybody out there that watches the fucking Today Show? Oh yes. Who With the, the fuck new black chick on there? That? Holy shit! Everybody in America, pretty much. The short hair. <laughs> I watch it. I really? start, yeah, I start work at home. Which one is that? The Matt Lauer one? That's yeah, Matt yeah, Lauer. Yeah. yeah. I just, but usually, like, I, so I have to start work at home, and I'm really busy right away in the morning. But at like ten, things start slowing down, so I turn the TV on, and it's always like Kathy Lee and Hoda like drinking That's red wine. Yeah, yeah. I see Hoda all the time. She lives in my neighborhood. Really? All the time. We talk and like two bitches just yap. <laughs> we yap like bitches. I I'm knew you stoop. were a wine bitch. I'm whiny. We're going to be doing one of these. <laughs> <laughs> you cross your arms like a recently married couple? That's right. In Long Island couple who just got married. So you like it? And uh, how did you but, like By the way, today's show is doing the worst. I think out of all the morning shows. I think it's uh, ABC. Good Morning America is still number one right now. Then uh, I think C even CBS with Gail King is beating uh, today's show. Damn. They got to mix, trying to mix with it up. Charlie Rose? With Charlie Rose, yeah. I can't watch any of them, man. I watch all of them. I appear on all of them. Yeah, you do. We're huh? going to get Gal on the show, too. That's Gail's why be on I in can't two weeks. watch them. You think black people are going to be angry at you. Gail's going to be embarrassed. Like Gal's coming on in two weeks, baby. Oh, by the After way. After pin. We're trying to get pin next oh, week. <laughs> are you allowed to talk about the weird sex things that you get sent to you for your job? Uh -huh. Is that not? Because I asked her to come on, and she's sending me, like, her, like, the weird fan mail she gets is okay. always, because she, you know, Jezebel's that fucking, uh, Feminist website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking I read it every day. .com. I, I read it every day. Based on that whore that got thrown out a window because she deserved it, Jezebel. Yeah, it got eaten by dog. Yeah, got that's exactly what, by it's, dog. It's, it's, what it's based on. Yeah. That whore! They was going to no. call it Bathsheba, but they said no, Jezebel. <laughs> <laughs> it's Bible names. Dude, this stuff. So wait, you texted me. Where, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. The most recent one was pretty crazy. Um, So, like, I'm... Because we, like, write stories and sometimes we do, like, reported stuff. So I have to be, like, contactable. So I put my, like, email in my bio, which most, oh. like, my Twitter bio, <laughs> which is, like, most of the time it's fine. People be like, here's a tip. Like, this guy is doing this thing or, like, this campaign worker did this thing or, you know, and so we'll have to, like, investigate and look into it. And nine out of ten times it's nothing. But anyway, one time, like, I'll get an email that's just, like... 
Uh, what's hey. your Twitter thing? Too? What's your Twitter? Uh, my Twitter handle? Yeah. It's uh, Morning Gloria. My middle name's Gloria. So it's like two words, Morning Gloria. Okay. Is this from People Facebook? Will definitely, like, oh, yeah, that's from Facebook. I get things on Facebook, too. Like, every once in a while, I'll check my other folder just because I feel too good about myself. So, I, like, <laughs> so I'll be like, what? What? Who wants me to die today? Or, like, they either want me to die, or they want to fuck me, or they want to fuck me till I die. So you got my message. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I, it was weird Dude. that your mom was CC'd on that. Yes. This is yeah. Yeah. She's the one who told me. Yeah. She does all the push on the butt. <laughs> she gave me butt pushes. I'm her son. I'm the baby. <laughs> Look at my baby pushing butt. Thanks, mama. <laughs> my <laughs> baby pushes right in the... <laughs> He's bettering himself. <laughs> he want to come up. That's right. Better yourself, baby. <laughs> Better yourself, baby. Baby. Uh, <laughs> baby. So this guy, Michael Gray, that's the guy's name on Facebook. So this is what I like about this is there's a picture of him with these like big sunglasses on and he oh. uses emoticons in every single one, a smiley face emoticon. After every so hello, smiley emoticon. Okay. I wanna cut I wanna cut through the red tape and ask that I masturbate to you when you were on here. Winky smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> the red tape is my favorite part. Right. Like there's somebody in the government like, no, you gotta fill out these right. forms. As a matter of fact, <laughs> some bureaucracy. I am uh Aaron's masturbation agent <laughs> yeah. and uh I'm sorry, you need the ten forty J O. Okay, next message. Then he goes, If it, if it is okay, dot 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 lives it but I feel you can understand why I I would go to you and dot 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 <laughs> and make it fun smiley face emoticon. he's gonna fucking kill you this guy yeah. What's the next one? wake <laughs> alert smiley face emoticon yeah, wake at alert? a different at a different time so yeah. like i didn't check my messages i just like went in and there oh. were two different yeah and then she, and then she wrote back i'm your mom <laughs> yeah that's my like standard response when a man that's does something saying, like that. well now you have like, your new safe for it aaron <laughs> like i'm your mom <laughs> yeah oh, i would still keep going yeah that's a boner killer no, it's um, not. No, it's not. <laughs> boner oh. killer. You're my mommy? <laughs> I, wait, that's what you thought this was? I thought you were trying to get him to finish faster so he'd stop bothering you. <laughs> I didn't understand. No, it was just like, I didn't know what to say because I was really grossed out. So I was like, oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. But sometimes I get, uh, sometimes I get like emails that are really long and that are like nice guy emails. Like people that are like, I just want you to know that I really like your writing and I just think you're really... David Feldman. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's what like, you really stay away from. That's the psychopath. I know. Exactly. It's like... <laughs> You want par parts of my hair. You want yes. me to cut off like some of my hair and send oh it to God. you. Yeah, it's it's real creepy. Just being like a woman on the internet. I I like hate complaining about it because I have a cool job. But like, some you just get weird shit sent to you. Well, you get sex shit is what you get. Yeah. yeah. Well, More you than... get sex and death. Those are the things that you get. I told you mine about the guys going to cave my Jew skull in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. yes. He's a friend I, to the show. Yeah. <laughs> and he's a different. Uh, and I, yeah. Jew skull in. Yeah. And then I'm not even a Jew, Godfrey. Yeah. What is it? Is a Jew skull like a piggy bank or whatever? What? He hated Kurt so much he was going to make him switch religions. Then Kurt <laughs> <laughs> fucking smash the skull. In. He was going to. And make me study the Torah with a bat behind my head. <laughs> and I open the scrolls and they now say it together. Elohim, no, no, no. <laughs> You got it. Smash your juice skull. A juice skull. He converted him. You know what you know yeah. you know call a Jew with a crushed skull? What? A Polish person. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Nice. That is technically what you call them. <laughs> no. Chucking his ass off too. Yeah, you do. He got the shoulder chuckle. He <laughs> <laughs> got the shoulder chuckle going. That's a knee slapper right there. <laughs> what you call the Jew with the thing? Pola. <laughs> That's what I'm laughing at. Oh. I said a Polish person. <laughs> That's politically correct. I love the shoulder chuckle. Dude, you Pola. Like, That's my anyway, joke, goddamn. Some, some <laughs> fucking. <laughs> You know, I can see <laughs> not throwing around nigger. I can see that too. Right. But Pollock is still to this day. Right. A delight to say. <laughs> it rolls right off your tongue. My, to have in my mouth. It rolls off your tongue. Pollock. At first, it sounds like a delicious, almost a pastry. Like, let's get Pollock. Yeah. Yeah, Pollock's and bagels. What'd you get at the Selco? <laughs> A pole lock. It sounds like how a stripper locks up her pole. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds wonderful. But the, you know what? The double G. Did we already talk about that? The double G sound? What? Joke. For, who's, who's joke? Is it yours? That's mine. My double G. What What's is your the joke? Because that's a real point. I don't okay. even know. Well, the N word. 
When you see it. We did the ceremony, Godfrey. And also, you're already black. Yeah, he don't need the ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, that's Nigerians, I'm telling you. Godfrey has the soul of a white, like, jock. Like, he's Joe Rogan inside. Because he also went to school, like, <laughs> Illinois. Well, white jock is like an insult. He played on football. Be a black jock. No, yeah, black better. jock is just as, yeah. Well, you, but you are a black jock. But I'm just telling you, you're inside, Godfrey. No. Is I like think a jock, jock, a Joe Rogan. I think you're confusing <laughs> jock with ethnicity. Jocks all act like that. Right. Let's go to commercial. I'll just nail it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, explain why that Nigerian chick would fuck me if, if what I said about Godfrey isn't true. It, why would the Nigerian chick it's fuck him? I don't know, you Cosby there. But, <laughs> <laughs> you, she, you was like a ghost to her? She never what saw a white person? What this, this I was the father she, she never had as a ghost. <laughs> Maybe she's a whore? <laughs> I don't know. I put on my Leonard Part 6 helmet. <laughs> <laughs> I put on the ghost dad. Uh, uh, Flip through Leonard, the walls. Leonard. Now it's time to revisit Leonard and see what the clothes Leonard was giving us. I say us. ghost dad too. Ghost, yeah, ghost dad too. Now when you look back, everything that Bill Cosby did is, seems a little rapey. Yeah, Everything. picture pages, that doodle doodle sound of the Even marker. Even that baby! When they did the Rachel Hall song, rapey. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's true. All the dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Having a sandwich at night with some milk, sleepy time kind of things like that. I remember he pinned my sister down and she was screaming and he <laughs> entered her forcibly. And looking back, that <laughs> seems kind of rapey. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this just coming out now, David? <laughs> is she the empty chair? Is, the, is that your sister's That's the chair? Empty chair? You know, it turns out that Mushmouth from Fat Albert, it was just a woman slurring. She <laughs> 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 had a speech impediment. Just a woman slurring about to go oh, down. Oh, doctor. Well, man. <laughs> I will say I'm glad that there's no... <laughs> More recordings that can hurt me. <laughs> oh no! We, oh, that's right. You know what? I'll let you off the hook. It's too easy. We Why? Got, I got more recordings of you. Just being, just. I could lose my job. You can lose your friendship. <laughs> Fuck your job, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what about us? Ooh, nice. Right. Uh, some disturbing. Let me just play it. I'm gonna play it, but it's some disturbing audio of Kurt. Mm, I can't believe there's we're a friends. leak in my house or something. Let's play it. I can't believe this. Um. Well, I mean, that's the whole thing with Jews, you know. <laughs> You can rub their belly. I think that's luck. Is that luck? <laughs> yes. Well, and there's another thing that I think is impressive, because people talk bad about Jews, but you know they have an extra brain in their ass that, like, if you chop a Jew in half, they will. Fo you can make two new Jews. <laughs> like, if you chop off a Jew head, they can survive for like a month just on water. Oh, ass water. That's, I mean, that, that's incredible. What do you think they, Hitler had so much trouble, you know? They're a hardy group. Disturbing. And they're still around. You can still see them all over the place. I mean, you know, don't tell anybody that, obviously. <laughs> wow. Wow, Kurt. But that is kind of a good point. Kurt, what I mean. What's the good point, Pod? It's very complimentary. <laughs> about these vermin. <laughs> you have nothing else, right? I got some more. I'm, uh, it breaks my heart to play it. You're going down right now. This is in the cart. No Emmys uh, for you. By the way, this is just in. If you go on the WWE website, there's no mention of me. They at erased all right your now. history. <laughs> it's crazy. They were, I am completely off WWE. I mean, when the Emmy board, is it a board for Emmy? When the Emmy board hears about this. Oh, I hope they don't. They're going to pull your Emmy. Let's play the next one. Because this. Fuck it, I'm taking you down, Whitey. <laughs> um, yeah, well, you know, they, I know you have, we have to say Portuguese is a language, but I think technically it's just a speech impediment, <laughs> honest to God. But, you know, make them feel better, right? Right. Oh, you have a language, because your mouth doesn't work right. <laughs> Pork chops, that's the only slur I know for them. Did you know that for Portuguese? That's smart. Yeah, well, I mean, I say it every chance I get to him, but how often do you run into a, a porch? A porchy. A Portugal monkey? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to have to Google it. I was genuinely asking. Wow, Kurt. Wow. How are we friends? How do we... Well, don't play the last one. That's all I ask. Well, I have to now. The fans are already, you know, they're calling in about it. They're disturbed. 
people in a in the studio, they can't believe it. Look All at right. Mark. Mark cried three times already. <laughs> that's CNN tears. That's real <laughs> tears, man. Just don't play this one. Those tears are newsy. <laughs> that's, all, that's all I ask. Well, let's play the last one. God oh, damn it, Paul. Kurt play it. tapes. Of the disturbing. So, here's another thing. Kurt and, Metzger uh, files. This is a fact, okay? I mean, you know, obviously I can't say it openly, but it's a thing that's just a, a scientific fact. Uh, Mexicans. I mean, obviously we know they rape, okay? <laughs> but the thing that people don't commonly know is they have prehensile penises. Did you know that? I have no idea. Like with an elbow in it. Like they, <laughs> they're like dolphins, and they rape the same amount as dolphins. <laughs> and that's what happens. Two of them lock penises onto your arms, and, on your arms, okay? But one goes on, there's plenty of them, okay? There's one for each of your limbs, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. Then one stands above you and behind you and sneaks around into your mouth. Okay? <laughs> and then the last two go to town in bolt holes while you're being held there by penises. Okay? And what are you supposed to do when that happens? No one's going to believe you. That's why you can't go to the police. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's number one rape going on right now is these fucking... <laughs> Chili niggers. <laughs> wow. And I don't, you know, disturbing. Disturbing. Me and you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Wow, Kurt. Wow, that isn't, one's really amazing. Isn't that just Donald Trump's stump speech? <laughs> <laughs> Make America great again. Wow. Trump is leading. Wow. wow, that was the worst one yet. I never thought I would live to see the day where... A good friend of mine got I caught know. being so... I don't even know what the word is. Why? Disrespectful. How did uh, I never catch the person taping me in that entire time? Yeah, who... How did they... How did I never put two and two together? <laughs> you didn't know five that? separate very racist conversations. And very clear, actually. The audio came out so clear. clearly recorded. Yes. Rob, we'll never know. It sounded like a question answer uh, portion of it, too, <laughs> which was weird. Okay, I, I'll be... I, can I come clean with everyone? Okay. I bought a recording device... To record myself at home saying nigger. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is it, what's the reason behind that? Why, Why did Nixon record all his Jew talk? Okay. That's fair. <laughs> did you listen to those ever, the Nixon tapes? Oh, yeah. Oh, I was great. trying to, like, make them kind of like the... Because his... They're so great. Because he's trying to, like, kind of not be racist. <laughs> but but he is. he's like, I mean, the Jews are good for some things. <laughs> you know? You, you just don't want a shifty Jew in the, in the White House. Yes. <laughs> I mean, the blacks are barely out of the jungle. <laughs> he was racist like a union leader. Dude, it's a stereo. Local talking. 787. But the people, the people he's talking on the tapes just sound like Karen on my... Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Nixon. <laughs> yes, Nixon. Why are we recording this? <laughs> Let's get to an important story of the day. Yeah. Okay. Let's stop glossing over it. Cecil the Lion. Oh, oh yeah. I just found Killed out. Killed by police. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why is this Cecil the Lion getting more fucking attention than Sandra Bland? Mark hit the white man with the truth. Because people, white people love animals. Oh. And they hate niggas. Oh. <laughs> so even in this case, we ain't even animals to them. Dude. Right. I thought we were. Her Until name, we get killed. And, uh, her name is Bland. Bland. I mean, come on. No, that's why Cecil's she was so boring. Lion. Cecil's a lion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it should have been Sandra Lyon and the maybe... beloved lion of Zimbabwe, who I just heard of now, but I have beloved him this entire time. <laughs> What's the dentist's name who killed him, too? What's his name, Andrew? You know um, the dentist? Jeff Gurian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, Jeff Gurian. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jeff Gurian. That, that joke killed in the room, and nobody else knows who the fuck we're talking about. <laughs> Jeff oh. Gurian. That's hilarious. But why? <laughs> what was the dentist? What was the dentist? I want to blow his spot up. That, that really sickens me that he went over there and killed. They lured the lion out Where's he with from? meat. Minnesota. Yeah. He's, he's from, from Minnesota. Minnesota. God damn, really? So yeah. he's had stupid accent on top of it? Yes. Hey, I'm, I was I grew Walter up around there. Paul. I knew I hated you. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, jeez. Oh god. No, oh, no god. you know oh, what? Gosh. We're just gonna go out, we're gonna take this lion, we're gonna lure him off the national park. <laughs> oh, we're gonna god. shoot him. We're gonna oh, shoot god. him with a crossbow. <laughs> then what we're gonna do is we're gonna let him bleed out for forty hours, <laughs> trace chase him around and uh go on in there with our gun and uh polish him off then. Oh no. <laughs> That's not good. 
And then we're going to. That gonna, doesn't sound like too good him. of a deal for him then. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I suppose he's uh, had a bad day. <laughs> Caesar, they took him down, man. He was protecting animal with a tracking device on him. The white man is the devil. So we know. The that, devil! So we know he's white. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's he's like a real he's real white. Oh okay, so Why do I we thought care maybe about this. He's a fucking animal. So what? Animals thought, matter too, Mark. Don't do that. Just because a, a lion didn't march on Washington, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Don't hold that against well, the lion. Look, okay, so so we have an extradition agreement with Zimbabwe. So technically, because he broke the law and he killed his protected lion illegally, he could be extradited and like Boom. thrown in a Zimbabwe in prison. Illegal? Oh, so that would be awesome. That right, would be so exactly. great. <laughs> That's the angle that I love about this. I love to picture that weenie rod. In a Zimbabwean prison. That's they were like, uh, you can't rape me with your African cocks, but I think I see uh, you need a filling in that back too. <laughs> yeah, that dentist, that dentist is about to get his cavity filled. But I, <laughs> <laughs> but I want to tell you, folks. <laughs> Can I say Pollock? <laughs> Speaking of African lions, Obama yeah. said he can run and win again. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that fudge train, huh? That was, smooth. that was some smooth shit. I think I read that in a foreword from my uncle. <laughs> lion, African, African lion. African lion. <laughs> Run it again. Oh, he would why, win if yeah. he ran again. I believe Admit it, it Whitey. I'm voting for Trump. I'm saying if Obama could win. <laughs> if he could run again. Yeah, I, I, I would go Obama With this again. competition? What do you think? I don't know why it takes black people so long to vote. That's what I want to know. Because they fucking put well, us... They block the voting. Thing. No, like no, there's no, all these no. long lines in Florida. They shoot at us. These long lines in Ohio. In New York, too. <laughs> in New York. Why, why are they so slow at voting? First of all, they say no. <laughs> they say no. <laughs> you can't come in. <laughs> we got we to gotta break so many IDs when we go vote. It's like, really? <laughs> they, have a, they have a velvet rope. And I, a vote, fucking body I vote right at the Cardinal School, right on the fucking up east side with a whole bunch of old whiteys. I come in there, fucking <laughs> wife beater. Move way, son. Wife beater in my rights. <laughs> you love you. <laughs> and it's great. Every fucking, I go there and vote. Every time I got to vote, I vote. vote, vote I, you should go dress as a Black Panther. That would be the cool way to uh, do it. It would be cool 40 years ago, dummy. Right now, I got to go as Little Wayne. I didn't mean cool. I meant hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Cool is the wrong word. That Thank was you. my bad. Because <laughs> the Black idiot. Panther, I love that, dude. The fucking, the two Black Panthers that were the voter intimidation. <laughs> like if they scared you, you shouldn't be allowed to vote. What was it? What are you talking about? In Philly, In the Philly. two Black Panthers. Oh, the two guys who are Black Panthers still. <laughs> they were making people vote. I don't know the whole story. What's the story? They were standing outside the poll like they were watching the voting process. So, so it became a Fox News thing. Like Fox, Fox News. Black Panthers intimidate voters. <laughs> oh no! Of course, it was on Fox News. Uh, dude, the guys. Too funny. No dude, one laughed. Someone at them? has got to tell these groups that a beret is not like. <laughs> I, look, I accept a green beret because I have to. But yeah. if I had my druthers, I wouldn't. Because <laughs> yeah. that hat. The hat is. Yes. Oh, but I used to wear beret and Boy Scout, and I loved it. And yeah. my neckerchief. I know you did. Uh, you can't tell me I wasn't a real soldier. <laughs> and two, I was held down and raped by Mr. Cosby. <laughs> oh, a little so be a little soldier. <laughs> tell your mom about the orgasm. <laughs> I heard that dentist, uh, that same dentist uh, went to Africa, shot the lion. He yeah. came back and shot the, the Black Panthers. <laughs> 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 Scan them. them alive. Drag them behind a pickup truck. Like Predator? Them. Yeah. <laughs> That's how Predator did. He was kind of racist, Predator. Only go in part two. Predator 2 was pretty racist. Why? Because he killed white people? Only blacks and Puerto Ricans. But in really. the first one, it was all, all whites. Right. The first one, it was uh, white wrestlers, I mostly. But Carl that. Weathers. Carl Weathers got it. He yeah. Got it. But you know, that's what you're looking for. Who's the other guy that was shaving with the bow? Bill Duke. And Bill, uh, yes. I got to see the body. Remember, he's, he's, he's the only I'm one Bill that Duke. saw the prayers. I see yeah. him over there. And by the way, his Duke's real the life. Best. He is great. A great director, too. His he's real amazing. life voice is not even a little intimate. Like, his regular speaking voice is, like, kind of higher pitched than I would have thought. Uh -huh. movie? Yeah. You know you don't fucked up, right? You know you don't fucked up. Oh, he's so great. That's a lot of great actors. You know you don't fucked up, right? Bill Duke. You know Bill Duke, right? Oh, yeah. He's oh, old school. Seven Duke boys. Set up. Car wash. <laughs> all right. Car wash. Yeah. yeah. Um. All right. What's the so? What's the big? What are we talking? Oh, the fucking oh. lion. So what? He don't care. Mark don't care. He said about the Mark lion. Mark don't care a fuck about the lion. And it's an African lion, which really disturbs <laughs> me about Mark. 
<laughs> but you know, and Obama, we know he switched on Obama. But Obama said he can Mark, still win if he can run again. I Mark, think he should be dude, able to run again. Mark is like Patrice's joke about uh, <laughs> when they say like they want to black people don't like animals. Like, look at white devil kissing a jackal. <laughs> <laughs> what devil woman? <laughs> Mark is like a smart Tyson Beckford. Smart <laughs> Tyson. <laughs> 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 He's Tyson Beckford, X Wire. Oh, dude, every time we have cable people, I like to. But see, it's for MSNBC. But I. It's but, CNN. But, but my MSNBC oh. joke, I like to tell you to everyone oh. from cable. Because uh, do you watch it? Do you watch Chris Hayes? No. It's Chris Hayes. <laughs> then uh, what's your name? Oh, the, Melissa. Uh, what's her name? Melissa Harris. Melissa Harris. Harris. Yeah. No, not Melissa. The other one. No, uh, the glasses. Shortcut. Oh, I saw yeah. Chris Hayes, Rachel Maddow, Rachel then Chris Maddow. Matthews in a row, and it looked like time lapse footage of a lesbian <laughs> aging. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that Chris Matthews is a handsome woman. What a handsome woman! <laughs> <laughs> I was in and out, you know, while I was wow. watching it. <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh, that's disrespectful to uh, I don't know, Chris Hayes. Do we have any calls? No, we really? got one. We got one call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I let people. We were talking so much. I let people hang up, but they'll call back in. Here we got uh, Eric. Is that Eric from Ohio? What's up, Eric? Hey, how's it going? I'm chilling. What you doing in there, Eric? You sound like you was pulling one out. <laughs> <laughs> Everything sound low and muffled. I can hear the lights off, nigga. <laughs> I'm actually Mexican. Yeah. Nigga. All right. <laughs> Negrito. <laughs> Negrito. Negrito. Yeah, Eric, we all niggas, nigga. It don't matter. Don't separate it by country. Now, what you got to say, Eric? Negrito. Nah, I, I've been here and I, I listen to the channel and I'm fans of all you guys. But I always hear people talking Donald Trump like he's knows what he's talking about right no yeah. he doesn't but, uh, know what he's talking about he definitely does not well you know what i mean but yeah. i know what i'm talking about prehensile penises now admit to it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you want with this country with your monkey penises you, everything's uh immigration <laughs> what else? you think immigration changed in the last 30 years that you saying oh definitely changed how because, uh i was born here mm -hmm. but my parents are mexican anchor so baby <laughs> Anchor baby, <laughs> that was Kurt. Don't mind the white man. Continue. I'm for that. I don't that's see why that. I think that's the coolest contest. The Anchor baby thing. Like I don't know why we get rid of that. That's one of our coolest things. <laughs> that you can like have the baby. If you make it and then poop the baby out, you get to live here. That's fucking awesome. But if the baby is slow, we should be able to fucking NFL punt it back over the border. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's, I think if it's smart, we should be able to do that with a stupid white baby. Yeah, the, any baby, pretty much. Uh, if, when I meet one, I'll let you know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I've met one. Eric, <laughs> 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 right, glad. I'm sorry, man. Finish up. Coffee's <laughs> <laughs> a new joker. <laughs> so funny. Stupid white babies. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid black babies. Which one is smarter? <laughs> the black a... baby is much smarter. As soon as he comes out the womb, he has to defend himself. <laughs> <laughs> the white baby sits in his in his own juice, just chilling from entitlement, sucking on his mama's titty, or sometimes a black woman's titty. Wow. And the Preach. black baby has to survive right away, cut the umbilical cord himself <laughs> to detach himself from the motherland. <laughs> Lewis. Intelligent black baby is what it is. You better understand that, brothers and sisters. Preach. They're trying to tell you that you're born stupid, but you're already defending yourself. Take your time. Umbilical cord all wrapped around your neck as the white man tried to cut you from your mother. Mm -hmm. White babies are dumb. They don't stop talking till they're 10 years old. <laughs> you don't know this. You see them in the strollers. They're 12 years old, legs dragging on the ground. <laughs> But a black mother will yell at her little newborn, barely can walk, and he has to walk because she's frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> so I tell you, you look at it. Start observing, brothers and sisters. That's right. The, the right. black baby. <laughs> The Mexican baby, I don't know about you guys. You like the extras in the movie. You're just there. <laughs> you, you, you won't have any lines, but you're in the camera. <laughs> Dude, my mom, for real, my my brother, my brother was like the baby of the family. Right. My fucking mom was such a weirdo because it was like her baby. She carried him 
like well into he was like maybe almost four she Jesus. would try to carry him Ugh. like we'd be at the kingdom hall the joe and she and his fucking legs are dragging but she dude it was mortifying i'm like will you put him fucking down but he's the youngest he that's was the youngest yeah. thing, Kurt. what'd you say that's a joe's witness thing i think because i was raised a joe's witness too oh, wow. Wow. oh we got from something the, which are from the spanish congregation yeah in fucking ohio Oh, Damn. where in this Ohio, man? Because that's where my family's from. My family's from Euclid. Where, where in Ohio? Uh, Dayton. Dayton. Oh, that's like the hillbilly side. Yeah, pretty. Much. Oh, we didn't associate really? with Dayton, Ohio. Really? Like the uppity part of Ohio. I was from. <laughs> I'm a Euclid man. <laughs> Euclid. <laughs> I'm a Cleveland man myself. That's right. He's from the Cleveland. I'm an Akron man. Akron man. <laughs> Maybe you know my family, the Cleveland Steamers. <laughs> an old name in Cleveland. How Were was you, it? Yeah. yeah, how was it, girl, like being Mexican and Jehovah Witness in, in they, Ohio? Did they, now, did you have to learn your Jehovah's Witness shit with, like, old Spanish sayings like this one? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Did yeah, you have I this have one it. of if you squeeze a child, like... Something in Spanish, but it's like children are like soap, and if you squeeze the soap too hard, it shoots out of your hand. But if you hold some shit about like not, you said I wasn't the priest. <laughs> hold on, hold on, let me finish. Got him money. Then he came. Okay, you got. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about, though, dude? Eric? Uh, I don't think I heard that one. <laughs> Wait, now, Eric, do you steal Jehovah oh, did you now? Oh, you say Jehovah's Witnesses? No, I was... Just... <laughs> Los niños es muy importante para su vida. <laughs> you know, like so... the sopa <laughs> in su manos. Es un Jesús Cristo. No es un bueno. Pero no está todo día... No, I, hope that, I hope that helps you, Richard, with your journey. <laughs> Eric, are you still Jehovah now? Oh, hell no. I got a lot better now. So you got out of it. Well, <laughs> yeah. How old were you when you got out? 15, 16. How old are you now? I'm 24. Oh, I didn't oh. have the guts to get out when I was 15. I didn't get out until I was like 20, 19, 20 almost. That is crazy. Yeah. Well, I grew up sooner than you did, I guess. Well, how'd you, how'd you go out? Like, how'd you what brought you out? I just stopped going. Oh, <laughs> oh your parents were just... <laughs> I just said no. He just didn't oh. show up. I didn't know it was an option. I, got, <laughs> I ended up getting... You know what happened to me, dude? I ended up getting pussy. I got sexed out. Nice. Yeah. You either get sexed out or beat out. That's and the girl that he had sex with, she joined the church after that. <laughs> you know, just high-fived and switched costumes, man. Nice. <laughs> Dummy. So, I Eric, was, yeah. are your parents still in? Still, Joe? Uh, yeah, my mom. My mom. Your mom. Yep. And does she like, like look down her nose at you? Like her mother's look looks at him. Oh, oh yeah. Definitely. Dude, I wish my mom looked down. I wish my mom. See, my mom's all into she my. She loves you. Yeah, now she's all proud of what I did. Now, because so. comedy's the new Jehovah <laughs> to her. She didn't know she could, le you know. Well, she likes, it out. yeah, so like it's <laughs> fucking. I, it's worse. I I liked when she didn't approve because now she follows along. Oh. I don't want to read my fucking Facebook, dude. No. I want to read in mine, mine. I sent her straight messages. I'm your father, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say Kwanzaa? I hate my new black father. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new show, the Cosby show. <laughs> I hate my new black father. Starring Bill Cosby. <laughs> All right, who else we got? Thanks, what man. Thanks for the call. All right, let's go into this uh, Brady suspension. Yeah, what, what is that? I don't know. Really? I don't know about oh, sports. Oh, my good God almighty. So Brady, you know, the, the whole deflate gate last year, they cheated, and they, I guess they took air out the ball so oh, he could right, grip it better yes. in the Super Bowl. They won yeah. the Super Bowl. And now he's getting suspended by the NFL. They good. upheld the, the suspension. Four games, two more games than Ray Rice, who beat his wife up. <laughs> the NFL, <laughs> but you always get cheat? it wrong. He didn't cheat at the football, Ray Rice. <laughs> that's right. No, he didn't cheat at the football. That's a, that's a separate legal thing. That's not the fucking... He should get more you games still suspended. In... He broke his phone, right? Did he smash his phone? Up? He got rid of it. He said he needed to check the text message on his phone, and he destroyed the phone. Yeah, and then he he's... lied and said, I always destroy my phone after a couple months. It's like, yeah. nigga. <laughs> Once you just traded it, he destroys it. I rip it apart. I threw it and I don't like it anymore. It's very suspicious. Yeah, of course. Oh, <laughs> yo, first of all, the Patriots win too easy, dude. You can, well, you can, they, guy, can be, they can be trailing three touchdowns. Five minutes later, they fucking caught up. But the guy, I'm like, it's bullshit, What's man? his name would show up I hate spot. the Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is, because it's very white, Marcus. <laughs> very white. Marcus? <laughs> Patriots. Hmm. I wonder what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very white, white team, is what I'm saying. No, he has hey, a yeah, pretty of, fucking white. Speaking of white, 
because I asked, I was going to ask Shay to come on because right. he was talking about black. And this made me laugh because Shay was like, I have to do the black math on this. Because uh, <laughs> when I was doing Meltdown, did I say this on the last show? I, I said, I did. So it's Kamel and uh, Emily, his wife books it. And I was talking about how this guy stole my friend's parking spot, right? And right. I go, and I go, yeah, Annie got punked out by this wigger guy outside. And Emily goes, um, don't say, we don't say wigger. I think she thought I was going to just go right on stage and say wigger a lot. But <laughs> have you ever heard of not saying wigger is that oh, like a, a white thing? woman said that to you that's a white yes good that's your own problems don't bring I, that to but me but i go shay <laughs> yeah boy but, but yeah hold on shit. so i go yeah boy so i go shay i'm like is wigger an actually an offensive word i'm like he goes i don't know i have to I guess i have to do the black math on that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> where you have to add up certain <laughs> figures to figure out you know i'll never tell you the solution but yeah well, I'm and not... divided by clan members. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told, her, I told her I'm never going to say African American. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear about how you undercame adversity to be a wigger dude. <laughs> African American, you're an idiot. <laughs> um, so you know about the Brady thing now? Yeah, but well, he is a cheat, that guy. I'm so happy. Bill all Belichick, his asterisks, is that the guy? man. Bill Bella cheat, I call him. Stop. It. <laughs> it's more like Bill Bella cheat. That's what uh, Don Shula house. called him. I don't what? know anything Don about Shula football. Don Shula called him. He said, he's Bill Bella cheat. I mean, if you cheat and you win. Dude, this is how much I know about football. I just hope both teams just have a great time. <laughs> 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 I hope, everyone them to have fun? I hope everyone has a wonderful time and no one gets hurt. <laughs> I like how they just keep cheating. Next minute, Patriots going to take the helmets of the other team. Where are our helmets? Ask me to predict any game coming up. <laughs> you know who really cheated on uh, Patriots? Hernandez, who killed oh. the dude. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> that was off the field. But that's still cheating. <laughs> Take his fate is tight, though, in jail. He still keeps his fate tight. It's like, the third, it's yeah. like the third person he shot, by the way. He yeah. has a problem. No, he's like a he's shot niggas in college. <laughs> yeah, he's nuts though. Oh, I, I still got drafted. I wish he's I, good. He's try. really good. He's really. I'm not gonna pass. That's yet really so. like damn near like murder. 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 Yet another album co like comedy hour title I can't use that you just said. What? I shot niggas in college. I shot niggas in college. <laughs> I'm definitely using it. <laughs> What's the other one? Oh, I'm the same nigga all day. All day, yes. Dude. I'm the same nigga all day, and I shot niggas in college. If I can have. <laughs> That's the tour. <laughs> <laughs> Names that I will never have. Beautiful forbidden titles. <laughs> Delicious. The sweetest. <laughs> 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 You're an idiot. Well, yeah, what do we have? What else do we have? We got five minutes left. Mark, what else is going on with you? What's coming? What do you got coming up? I ain't got shit coming up. We don't see it in the ball. My career's pretty much over after doing this show. <laughs> 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 CNN sent them the sad face. Right? <laughs> this is not CNN. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> have, have Don Lemon. You're fine. Have Don Lemon <laughs> soothe their tears with his nigga oh, sign. Oh, God. <laughs> Don is always doing some crazy shit. Oh, no, he's, yeah. Does this word offend you, Don? He would have loved our It's like, fan. you're black. Say it, Don. Stop holding up signs, you fucking. And protester, yeah, I loved when he asked if that girl showed a big penis. Couldn't you bite him, Dr. Cosby's cock? It's like, holy shit, go to commercial, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? That's why I love him, though. I love him because he's just, he, he goes like, there. You know, this guy, what penis biting <laughs> <laughs> to a rape victim? Who says that? Um. I well, blame you for that. Don't people that me. ask the tough questions. That's, yeah. Those are people who say that. He's like, did you ever try doing one of these? One of my friends no, played, he, he said that's what he did himself. The Damn. What? That's what he said on the show. That he Whoa. would do it? Yeah. He bit his cock? He said that's yeah. how he stopped being molested. He bit that shit. And he was saying, why didn't you bite it too? Did he really say that? Yes. Yeah. He's a psychopath. Yeah. I love that. Way, I mean, he didn't I... bite it so much as gently suck on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, bite it would have stopped him from doing it. Oh he what? just gummed it a little. <laughs> and guys love that. What are you saying? Uh, no, I was saying one of my friends pointed out that uh, he had to send some poor CNN intern to Kinko's to get like a big. <laughs> 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 Imagine being that person. Oh, that's oh, fucked up. And we only got oh. white interns. So you know he's really bad. Oh, that's a so maybe he did a good deed. <laughs> Dude, that's so great. That's amazing. I need a thousand of these. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's too good. 
<laughs> you need what? The little girl behind King Coach Nuts. <laughs> what do you need? <laughs> Who this is for? <laughs> Don Lemon. Okay, then. Fuck it. It's Don Lemon. <laughs> Don't bring your crack ass down here for no time. <laughs> oh, King Coach staff. <laughs> I like that. That was good. <laughs> I like oh the black We got one minute. Thank our guests, Kurt. Let's thank everybody. All right, get out so, of here. Aaron, thank you for talking about the part you could talk about. Yes. Not the interesting part, obviously. <laughs> yes, definitely. Protect your job. David Feldman, who's in town now, dude. Dave, you got to come back with more, yeah. You guys are hysterical. What do you have going on, man? Uh, the show. Oh, yeah. What, what do you have going on, Aaron? Anything to plug? Uh, just Jezebel.com, running it every day. Wait, yeah. I just got some news Jezebel. before we say uh, we say anything. Uh, uh, I just got news that dentist just shot Wolf Blitzer. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Everybody. Not in the situation room. <laughs> this is Wolf Blitzer. Sorry, Mark. I know he's your friend. <laughs> Where did you see that Wolf Blitzer again? This, this is Wolf This is a... In the situation room, a lion's been shot. <laughs> We're gonna go right now to Africa. We'll talk about the situation room where a lion, as we said before, a lion's been shot in Africa. We'll be right back and we'll explain it. Talk to the Africans. Thank you, Godfrey, for coming Godfrey. in. Godfrey, yeah, yeah I'm at Gotham this week. Mark He's Gotham this week. Gotham in Tampa Improv there next we go. week in Virginia Beach Funny Bone next week. Boom, boom. Mark Lamont Hill. Thanks, everybody, for coming out. We really appreciate it. Oh, Race Wall, see you next week. Yeah. Baby!